man, I can't believe we're almost down to the end of SWC 2023 Grand Finals. We are in the top eight scenario. Aru, are you ready? Bro, I mean, I'm as ready as ever. You know, I mean, these, these, these matches have been so, so good. And, like, we've narrowed this playing field down to the final eight players. Somehow. Man. Somehow. Somehow. It's been a bloody weekend. Absolutely, man. Well, tell us who we got like lined up right now. This top eight is looking nuts. Yeah, so uh, we've got uh, Score versus Xiao Hai in the winner's side. That's going to be our first match of the night. Uh, also, we've got M Dash versus Lagia coming up afterwards. My goodness, <laughs> all Asian winner's side top eight. Would you believe it? You know, we've been doing this a very long time, Aru, so uh, <laughs> I'm not the most surprised. The biggest surprise, yeah. i got to say. You know, it, was almost, it was almost a rhetorical <laughs> oh, question, they, right? They, they asked us earlier in yeah, the interview, yeah. who do you think is going to be up in the situation? Who's even going to win it? And we all gave the answers we did. I saw that so, video, too. Yeah. I might have been featured in it as well, you know? I mean, no surprise here, really, but... In the loser side, what we got here? We've got Calfero Onesto, a.k.a. Layek, going up against E.T., Mexico versus Taiwan. Mm, man, a top, eight, a top eight situation, Mexico versus Taiwan, and what a top eight situation. I got to talk about it. The match we just saw. Incredible. Ending. Dude, that is going to be in the books. Yeah, seriously, seriously. If you guys somehow managed to miss that, uh, make sure you go back and watch it maybe before the next one. Actually, no, you know what? We're probably going to go into it soon. So before we do that, though, let's go to the last match of the top eight. It's going to be the Geo representing Peru going up against Hong Kong's own Pineapple. Pineapple, man. Pineapple. All, the, all these players impressive in very different ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's what makes this top eight so interesting to watch because there's not going to be a lot of overlap in play style. There's going to be eight different schools of KOF 15 happening right now for our, feast, our for eyes to feast upon. I can't wait, man. Yeah, and they're all, the thing is, they're all playing at that very top level, you know? I mean, all these guys have been on fire all weekend. That's how they got here. And uh, like you said, eight different play styles, eight different, you know, tons of different characters that we're going to see on display. So really cannot look, uh, cannot wait to see what we got coming. And not, not at all. And we talk about score, a guy who had to qualify through last chance qualifiers on Friday, mm -hmm. uh, ran the gauntlet, didn't win the LCQ, but finds himself in the winner's side of top eight. One game away from winner's finals. Imagine that, man. This guy's been on fire, but you know what? This is Xiao Hai he's going up against, and everybody knows by now, if you are, if you've even any interest in KOF, you know Xiao Hai is considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest. I would say at this point, there's no argument against him. He is the greatest KOF, KOF player to ever live. You know, I, I, I'm with you right there, you yeah, know? Yeah, and that, that hurts me to say it, because it this is a guy that consistently knocks me out of tournament. <laughs> I've only ever lost to Xiao Hai, well, that's right. Hey, you know what? No shame in that. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Wow, nice. finds the jump in right away, Xiao Hai. And finds the low B, but it will committed to the second low B, did the combo off of that. But still, the offense remaining on Xiao Hai's side, and score unable to really mount any kind of defense or offensive effort here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at the containment. Okay, finally managed to find a hit. Score gets the knockdown, but he needs to make something happen here. Managed to get the invincible command grab. Yeah, that was crazy, because that, that close C was out, baby. Yes, sir. Nice containment this time from score's side. Wanted to pick up off that jump count counter hit CD. All right, another knockdown. This is exactly what he needed. Yeah. Oh, and a great psychic jump from Xiao Hai getting over the command grab attempt. I would actually argue he telegraphed that a little bit because he was turning the butter up just a little bit there in the corner. And also, we know that most Orochi Yashiro's are going to go for the Okizeme throw uh, at least once again. At least once, yeah. I mean, he's going to that well a little bit too often that time around. Xiao Hai, up a character, has a strong life lead already. It's a scary place to be in with your score. Wow, Chizuru is one of his specialties. Having a healthy geese on point on the other end with even half a... Wow, oh my goodness. He's so good at placing those. So whenever somebody thinks that they have an opportunity to continue their pressure, he just hops right over them. It's actually especially impressive against Chizuru because finding the windows there is not easy. It's risky because if she just does like an EX clone to, to launch you in the air, she gets a full combo, you know what I mean? And you lose all your special moves for at least five seconds. That is true. So, I mean, score, he really needs to find a hit in the next few seconds here. 30-second mark is coming very rapidly. Uh, oh, no. That might not matter here. Even if he takes down the geese, he's going to be dealing with house money on Chow High's side. Not even going to get a chance to use any of that meter. This is so unfortunate for score. I mean, he's made some crazy comebacks already this weekend, but this is, of course, this is Chow High. This is the toughest <laughs> challenge, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. With that high turn, if there's any character to do it, for high turn with five bars, this is the one that you want to place your bets on. Oh, uh, yeah, the Hydrants have been doing work this whole weekend, but the okay. Hydrant that's been doing the most work is score. Absolutely, absolutely. Nice. Managed to find the roll. Mm, challenges with the down C. Don't come don't come too close. Exactly. Nice hop over. Manages to keep him in the corner. And you see right now he's just steadily holding him in place with the cross cutter, saying, you know what? 
We are not going to mix it up too much. Oh, oh why did you goodness. commit? He saw he countered that so early, but I think that uh, score was already committed to the jump D. It did seem like it. Yeah, I mean that's a pretty slow to start up button. What? Okay. Oh, okay, advanced strike. That's yeah, what that was beats to be. the startup. Mm, that's plus. Nice defense from score, but oh my goodness. Bruh. Just he's, jumps right over the fireball. He's not going to get a chance to use that meter at all. Xiao Hai looking dominant as ever, taking a first game very, very convincingly. Yeah, Xiao Hai at the beginning of this week when we all arrived here, we didn't see much of him. You know, he wasn't really out <laughs> yeah. uh, mingling with the, uh, the, the the other competitors, the media, whatever. He was like meditating for four hours. Hermit mode. Hermit mode. I don't know what happened. Yeah, Yo, you know yeah. what I heard? I heard he's. I heard he was a little sick. He was a little under the weather. Yeah. Oh no, is this the flu the tournament? It might be. It oh might no. Be. Uh oh. <laughs> the, the Jordan. <laughs> the Jordan flu tournament special. Uh oh. You do not want to mess with this guy. I mean, if anyone's going to do it, it's definitely Shao. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's one of the greatest to ever do it. But, yeah, you know what's funny about that, though, is uh, in that game where he almost uh, lost to, to the Geo, um, when that happened, immediately he started playing casuals afterwards. You know what I mean? Like, he was like, okay, maybe I need to get some de-rusting in, you know? Sometimes you need that close. fire lit, though, man. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you need it that way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, let's see. Score uh, is going to need to dig deep if he's going to make this you know, what I would consider an upset against Xiao Hai. Feels weird to say, right? Cause it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, these guys have definitely faced each other in previous KOF majors oh, yeah. uh, in this uh, in grand final situations. Even. Of course, yeah. Um, but yeah, Xiao Hai has so far outpaced so many other of his peers that, uh, it, yeah, it's weird to say things like that, but it's kind of true. It is true. I mean, and you know what? Xiao Hai has looked a little vulnerable in this tournament, you know? I would say the most vulnerable he's looked since 15 came out. Exactly, exactly. Nice. Okay, finds the hard knockdown into the EX OTG. Wow, a lot of patience shown from both sides, but a great poke out. Yeah, Geese is just so good for that kind of play style, too, because he really just needs that one hit into Palm. Oh into, he's got me, he's got Super, and that's going to be it for Roshi Yashiro, possibly. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of damage at the end there. Xiao Hai, again, pretty dominant first round, and he's just like, he finds all the hits somehow. It, it looks so easy when he does it. He just doesn't seem intimidated by what uh, Orochi Yashiro's got to offer the Geese as far as offense, and score definitely not confident in that matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, got over to low D. Ooh, a little bit of razzle-dazzle there with the fake uh, frame kill into the, uh, the far A. That's right. All right, trying to space out this Geese. It's, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yikes. Swept the clone. Nice. Finds the anti-air clone. Yeah, man. Xiao Hai's going to hold on to this Geese as long as possible. If he gets that Chizuru down to half health, that is definitely a moral victory. He's playing with house money. Hold on to that meter, too. If he gets a significant hit, he might dump it. He might. Okay. Another nice little clone poke. But again, Xiao Hai, with even less than 100 health, still a very dangerous guy. Yeah, I like the way Score's playing this right now. There's Wow. There was no reason for him to get overly antsy, uh, keep the offense up from a distance. You're going to have the life lead uh, regardless, unless, unless you overcommit to something. Absolutely. Oh, oh my goodness. No. He just finds all the hits. It's uncanny. Bro, he was a statue. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't doing anything, but like as soon as he presses buttons, man, they, they're somehow landing, bro. My lord. Xiao Hai once again running into the third round with the geese still in the building. Haven't even seen the Benny Maru yet. That is so, so demoralizing. Mm -hmm. All right, putting on the pressure. Scorch remaining patient, but getting thrown as a result. And oh, nice roll. That is a great punish. That is exactly what he needed. So the advanced strike, you know, got a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. If it touches, you get your half bar back, and that's hit or block. Um, a lot of guard point on it once you give it a chance to start up. And obviously, uh, kills throws. But man, when you whip that bad boy. You're, in, you're there for like, you know, it feels like a full second. Yeah, you, you are know? stuck in that animation. Yeah, man. Nice air to air. And again, we find score in the corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now he's got to deal with the EX command grab gimmicks. And he's got three of those on deck with the one and a half bars on Benny Marlowe's side. Wow, go straight into the super. That's going to hold him there for another five seconds. Oh, uh, misses the grab, unfortunately. It. Unfortunately, yeah, because uh, he wasn't in the corner, it was a little awkward. Oh, man, no reason not to hit the low B there. I totally exactly. agree with that. Psychic. Not, not enough to kill, though, but still, I want him to have a wow. He thought he's just like, whatever, let's just try it out. He doesn't even let it complete the cycle. Of course, my man knows the punish. This man is... It's Xiao Hai, man. You can't get away with anything against him. Oh, my lord. Just like the 
the eye of an assassin at that point, man. Mm -hmm. All that data in that brain swimming around, ready to trigger at a moment's notice. This guy that is Shao Hai. He's, he's pretty good, this guy, you know? He's all right, you know? <laughs> yeah, he, so. He might be the best Kayla player to ever walk this earth. I think, uh, yeah, there's definitely a case for that at this point. I mean, when you're doing that, most people let that buzzsaw just play out. You yeah, because they're like, scared. They yeah. don't want to, you know, like, make a mistake and get hit by it and take, like, 500 damage or whatever exactly. it is. Exactly. You know, but, you know that he just knows, man. And that's Shao Hai moving on into winner's finals. That's right. So, a score, we're going to find him later on in this bracket. He's still in the loser side, so still has a chance. Uh, up next, though, we're going to have... M Dash going up against Loggy. It's a it's a Sanwa team kill. Not only a Sanwa team kill, but a Senpai Kohai team mm, kill. This yeah. is definitely one of the uh, brighter stories in the KOF ethos as far as community goes. Uh, M Dash, the um, sensei, I guess you could say, to Loggy, the the protege. Yeah. Um, and several times Loggy has outpaced M Dash in tournament. Uh, but they continue to go back and forth constantly, and that's one of the most wonderful things to see uh, in this game because they've just been consistently doing it for so long. I mean, since 14, when Lagia even jumped on the scene, he was exactly. basically He's got a new the rocket born. ship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he definitely got the rocket yeah, ship dude. for sure. Yeah, M Dash, of course, one of the one of the gods of the game, right? So uh, from the, from Japan, of course, um, pro uh, considered one of the most dominant players in the region, right? Mm -hmm. But Lagia, you know, he has been making a case for himself, you know, like you said, during the 14 days when he started. He, he's been in position several times uh, during this game's lifespan to uh, be the best in Japan. Yeah. So, uh, I, once one thing, I'm glad to see that he's still messing with the game hardcore, obviously. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And two, that is still a possibility. He could still take the crown of best in Japan at any moment. Yeah, what a statement it would be to beat, uh, you know, M Dash, you know, one of his, uh, one of the guys he looks up to, right, um, on this type of stage. Absolutely. But right now, he's not even thinking about just beating him dash he's thinking about taking home this trophy because that would solidify yeah. him as being probably our youngest champion ever in the SWC and in any KOF uh, scenario that's right yeah I mean all these guys that are left in this in this tournament they are in the conversation to of course uh, take the crown home uh, so don't sleep on any of them, yeah. Lagia especially. I mean, this 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 guy is hungry and yeah, puts him in a goat conversation too. Uh, M dash also another goat of uh -huh. KOF so I would say Lagia even getting himself in grand finals here probably you know, I, I would say definitely go to Jason, you know, and at such agree. a young age. I would absolutely agree. Right, we see the players sitting down now, getting everything set up. One thing about these guys is that they take their time to do everything, especially <laughs> when they play against each other. Hey, yeah, you know, you got to make sure everything is just right. You only have one opportunity to play your tournament match, and you want to make sure it goes perfectly. Absolutely. I remember we were doing the, uh, the SNK regional bouts, yeah. and in the uh, East Asia region, it was these two in grand finals, yeah. and that took forever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, some, some players are very particular, and uh, maybe that's part of what makes them so strong, you know? Hey, you know, some of the best players, like you said, some of the best players are particularly like that, and we've got a number of them that were here today that have shown us, like, you know what, sometimes the slow and steady play definitely gets you the best results. Yeah, yeah. I mean, guy like me, I just kind of just sit down and play, you know, and just bang it out, but that's, that's why. That's, a, that's the majority of us. That's the majority of us, <laughs> but that's why none of us are on the stage, and those guys are. Yeah, it's absolutely. And this is actually a testament to the meta of the game right now. I mm -hmm. remember, like, in the previous season, these guys were definitely running identical teams. And yeah. now they couldn't be more different. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, Lagia, of course, with the signature, the Yashiro. Get that water. I think Yashiro. Shout out to Yipes. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Yipes, man. Over in New York. I think Yashiro's pretty good, man. I feel like uh, it's it's kind of surprising to only see one in this tournament, and uh, not that surprising to see him. I make mean, it this you, far, you right? know, you're right though, because I think Yashiro's having a great season. Yeah, I, I definitely expected to see more of him throughout uh, the top 16 yeah. scenario, but there's just so many good characters right That's now. True. In yeah, this, this game is a very that, healthy patch. I feel for the yeah. game, and especially against the geese, who is like you know pretty much. Uh, not even arguably the best character in the game right now. Yeah. Uh, I actually think Yashiro kind of boxes with him pretty well. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, he's got some good uh, normals to actually, you know, like you said, box with him and fight him on his own terms. All right, yeah, in the him. corner. There's a down C. You got to be aware of that on Yashiro's side. That down C, mm. remarkably fast and has great reach. Absolutely. And Shao, I mean, rather, uh, Lagia having a hard time t cracking this nut. M-Dash, one of the best defensive players in the game. For sure, yeah. 
Oh my goodness, you, like you said, that defense coming into play. Mm -hmm. Okay, manages to throw himself out of that situation. He'll absolutely smother you, you know? He'll get that commanding life lead and then just say, you know what, it's okay if the timer runs out. Mm -hmm. All right, you see Logia kind of disengage. Oh no! It's a little far for that uppercut wow, to actually dude. touch. Dude, Look yeah, at all right, these texts, bro. Right. I mean, come on. How's he so ready? But right now, M-Dash is like, you know what? You're going to have to throw me because I am not going to put myself in a position where uh, you're going to be able to get a punish. You're yeah. going to have to open me up here. And I'm rolling back to the other side of the screen. Let the clock run out, baby. Look at how deliberately he places everything. Like, that's the Whoa! level that can oh, okay. I can't believe that combo. <laughs> yeah, me too. I guess that hit stun is just absurdly long. Managed to get the OTG. Two seconds remain. Are Finds the you low. serious? You know what? After that first, after this level two super, I'm pretty sure M Dash was like, I already got what I wanted out of this round anyway, and you just spent all your resources. That's true. That's true. I mean, he does have a, a bar on that Benny Maru, almost two, and that's you know that that character is very efficient with bar. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to spend any of it to get rid of the Yashiro in this situation, especially if you're gonna do a DP like that. Absolutely. But you know, if you're if you're Lagia, you can't be feeling too bad. That was that first round was looking so bad, and he manages to reverse the situation with that miracle hit from the from the Yashiro. Exactly. May not affect uh, M Dash uh, negatively, but for Lagia, it definitely gives him some confidence. Yeah, for sure. Uh oh. Hopefully, he keeps that confidence. I mean, oh, oh, okay. that was that would have been big. Absolutely. This character hits like a freight train. Yeah, even after the low B, not mm -hmm. a lot of scaling after that. Absolutely. He wishes he had that one back because I don't think he's going to get another opportunity at a low B so close. But like he tried to do low D there, mm -hmm. but tried it again. Hold. Okay. Managed. That's a good pickup. That was amazing. Yeah, he gets out of the corner and now he gets a ton of damage. Oh, the meaty close B, but he didn't commit. That could end up costing him Hell Pockets. I think so too. Like, I don't think he gets that touch ever again in this round. He's going to need to be creative with something else. Maybe an air to air into EX on Redskin. That's the oh, most likely case, no. but it might not happen. That looks exactly like what he was trying to do. He did the kind of early hop D. You see a lot of that when people are trying to fish for the air to air into the into the anywhere juggle, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And M Dash, I guess he was just one step ahead. He was like, I'm just going to chill here. You're going to land behind me, and I'm going to kill you for might it. Might even gave him a little bit of data by showing those drops that he showed earlier. Mm. So maybe uh, M Dash said, I know exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, so I mean, I'm going to go for it first. I suspect these two must play all the time, right? So, oh, for certain. Yeah. Nice. DP. Trying to hop over the fireball there? I don't think so, buddy. Ooh, that was tricky. <laughs> Got him! This time, it's Lagia punishing the landing frames. Good stuff. Cashing out very efficiently, and now evening the score, very neck and neck in this first game of this set. And this is an interesting matchup, too, because you got a character that's got, like, so much movement on the ground in the air versus a character who kind of has, like, a scary good jump CD that covers, like, most of the front side of her body. Yeah, man. Look at nice. that, right? Yeah, you dude. cannot stick nothing out against it's her. It's like a force field. Look, again! That's a... Uh... Dare I say, love hard esque? <laughs> a little bit. A, a little, little bit. bit. Like, don't ever jump at her. Don't be in the air. <laughs> don't do anything. As... Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that looked so dangerous there. Mm. Oh, couldn't get the backside on that one. Jesus wow. Christ. Yo, Loggy is just, he's putting up the wall. So far, M Dash has not been able to hit him one time. And that's what you see from a lot of Sylvie's in, in all uh, situations. That jump CD just does so much to them. They get so oh. much mileage, but he gets a jump in C here, and this is going to be a lot of damage. This is exactly what he needed. Gets the hard knockdown. We're going to get a ton of pressure off of this. Oh, they got the throw, too. Now you're in the threat level orange. Get out of the corner. Yes, sir. Still has four bars. This, uh, Loggy. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. What a bonus! That was beautifully done, Hell Pockets. I wonder if he had seen that response from Lagia in the past, because he was ready to go with the perfect response. You got to think he's seen it before, because that was just surgical. You know, it was just perfectly timed, and he was so ready for the punish as well. Yeah, man. Like, I bet you Lagia right now is like, dang, I can't believe he remembers that. <laughs> I haven't done that to him in two months. Exactly, exactly. No, but you can't get away with anything against these guys. You yeah, gotta just... <laughs> he's like, I remember everything, bro. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing with my life? I'm watching our old YouTube footage. <laughs> That's true. I mean, they had some time to kind of prepare for each other. Oh, absolutely. Once I they mean, saw the brackets. It, it must be so, I mean, cool, but also just like kind of insane that you guys are on a plane to America together and That's you're just true. like, see you in top eight. Right, right. <laughs> yep. M Dash, though, looking dominant as ever, man. This weekend, he's been playing so, like, it's like, it's kind of quiet, right? He's like, it's not like explosive, but like, he, he, he wins. Yeah.
pretty convincing pretty every convincingly. single time, and, too. And, and, and he hasn't uh, made a lot of mistakes here, and I think that's that's really where he built his namesake off yeah. of, just kind of not not being a robot, but just having perfect input. Yeah, you know? no, you know, and that's that's incredibly difficult to do in a game that moves as quickly as KO. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Great challenge there. You know, you got this freight train, Yashiro running right at you, and you're in the corner, and he's just like, whatever, low A. Mm -hmm. Full confirm. Ooh, nice. no way, Oh, no, gets punished now. So what he's doing is, because like, and this happens to everybody, when they get an anti-air and they think, maybe I can get the, maybe I can hit him on the ground. Right. And I go for command normal follow-up, what it ends up whiffing. Uh, M-Dash ready with the proper response every time. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, and this time, M-Dash taking the first round very convincingly. Lagia was not able to make another miracle happen like he did last game. Yeah, you, I think in the last game, um, M-Dash probably, uh, Got a little confident at the end of the uh, round count there, the clock countdown, and just let it go a little bit. And yeah. Lagia just didn't, well, we'd rather he didn't give Lagia the opportunity to even see that opening this time. Exactly. Oh, that was a big chance, but missed the anti air. And this has got to be like exhausting to think about as Lagia. Like, man, I got to go through this geese with this one and a half bar Rio. It's doable, but I know my boy M Dash not going to give me the chance easy. Okay. Oh, big cross up. Finds the hit. How much is he going to spend here, though? Mm, I think he might want to go a little harder than that because M Dash is not giving these hits up for free. All right, retreating. Oh, oh and again, no anti air on the jump D. And that's so far is the difference between these two guys. They are both getting glancing hits like that, but M Dash is making them count. Exactly, exactly. Has to be careful with the spacing. The Hopi is ever a threat from Geese, and that's been posing a problem to him. Wow. Oh, my goodness. The hot D, you say. I mean, I agree with you, but once again, I just think M Dash has seen the scenario so many times. Up two characters at this point. Yeah, that was a bit of a wild jump from from Lagia there, and that that uh, you know, obviously M Dash ready to punish because there's not much else for him to be looking for at that space. Nope, he says well, this is going to be a low B after an air. Oh, almost had it again. Mm -hmm. And he's ever so slightly moving into that range whenever he sees that uh, Lagia is taken to the sky a little too frequently, where he knows that it's going to be an over jump. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at these. He's placing those down Ds so efficiently. Shibukin, get off me. Doesn't have to really do a lot here. Uh, if he can get this character, uh, Sylvie, down to like even a third of it of health, uh, I would say more, I mean, more than more victory, oh, obviously. Again, the glancing hits turn into full conversion. He is just running away with it at this point. M Dash looking unstoppable. Oh, yeah, this guy's looking real nice. And gotta say it, finally, the geese is out of the building. We see the Benny Maru come in. But you know what, Lagia, he does have five bars on the Sylvie. And Sylvie, again, one of those characters that is capable of making large comebacks because she cashes out very efficiently. Very efficiently and has very good um, uh, methods of finding those hits just like that. Exactly. Found the hit right when she needed it. All right, off to spend only the two bars. But look at that, 500 damage off of a low B quick max. Most characters do not get that type it, of damage. Absolutely not. You're nice dealing pressure. with two like, uh, hit damage scalers there. I'd exactly. hate to see what that's like off a of close seat. Mm. All right, you see. No DP? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. No DP again? He's so scared of the ground game. Another missed opportunity on the anti air. Yeah, the defense is not looking good on Lagia's side, man. Wow, M Dash is daring him to try to make something happen here. It looks like he's only looking for the down B into Quick Max right now. I mean, that. Oh, oh my gosh, he had he it. Overcommitted. Again, look at all these hops that are going unchecked right now. Loggy is just kind of letting him do whatever he wants. And M Dash, normally he. Oh my gosh. I think M Dash is feeling real nice here. He's like, look, even if you time me out, you've got to deal with the East Low with three and a half bars. Do you really want to play that game? Of course not. And now, okay, he's in. Nice jump back to the fadeaway. But Loggy, again, less than 15 seconds remain. He's not going to get almost oh, any he's health. Oh, a bar, too. Yeah, this is rough for yeah, Loggy right now. Lagia needs to uh, make spikes, but it doesn't really matter. He's only going to have a oh, wow, no. that's going to be in a room. <laughs> and he finds the hit. M Dash, after a grueling 55 second round, manages to find the opening. And my goodness, there's only so long that you can play keep away on a character like Benny Maru, if you're, especially if you're not going to be anti airing. Absolutely not. I told you these brothers take forever to do everything, you're though, right? right? You're right, you're right. <laughs> But I cannot blame either of these players for playing so, uh, what's the word? He's like, no, no handshake, so don't talk passively. to me. <laughs> no, nah, these guys 100% um, earned every uh, bit of success that they got. The position that they're in right now, they've earned that spot. And the way they play is what, what earned it for them. So 
Uh, yeah, I don't blame them for playing that way either. If it works, don't fi don't you know if it's working, don't fix it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean these guys are just like textbook KOF on display. M Dash, of course, uh, getting the better of Lagia, but you know both players, world class players. What a treat it is to watch these guys do their thing up there. Yeah, no, I'm having a great time watching them uh, all weekend long, um, and it's been intense this weekend. It has. You know, I've definitely seen some people just like not have a good time after taking the L uh, on stage. And that's, that's the nature of our business. You know, someone's got to lose, and it can be rough. Yeah, I mean, especially with how much these guys want it, you know? Mm -hmm. But you mentioned intense. Um, I heard the crowd kind of kind of rev up their engines a little bit because uh, <laughs> we've got a, we got a pretty exciting match coming up. Yeah, man, like uh, Mexico's last export, Cafeto Anesto. I did it. I said it right, finally. It, it's really it. hard for me to get that out. <laughs> Cafeto Anesto versus E.T. in the first loser side match of top eight. And once again, I will mention that barn burner of a match that he just had to get into top eight loser side. Yeah, truly. I mean, it was just incredible, incredibly play, uh, incredible level of play that he's been displaying all weekend. I mean, like, it's crazy. Like, being the last Mexican represent, rent, representative in this bracket, it means so much, especially with this venue being so full of the Mexican contingent. It's going to be, I, I really Dude, hope to see the, the crowd go crazy. It, and this is why I love this whole event, you know, because, mm -hmm. like, I just wanted to see all of us in a room cheering for who we want to see win this tournament. No dissenting voices from outside. Absolutely. Everybody just enjoying KOF right now. And the cool thing about this tournament is that everybody knows each other. You yeah, know? yeah. Everybody's training with each other behind the scenes anyway. So yeah. there ain't no animosity. Right. But definitely uh, some, uh, some sides being chosen. Uh, out oh, of convenience, sure. you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely, man. When I was watching, um, I think it was uh, Gio versus, uh, I can't forget, I can't remember, but it was one of the Mexican players. I think it was uh, Tamago. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, there, there, was some, there was some cheering back and forth going on in the crowd, you know? Like, uh, you heard a lot of cheers for the Mexican uh, Huevo, but, like, as soon as that ended, uh, I heard, like, you know, Chino Funky and, like, uh, Yuri Kov, yeah. Peruvians. You know, trying to add their voices uh, against the cacophony of the uh They're out here, brother. Yeah, man, they're out here. <laughs> they're out here. All right. So, yo, if you like Lyek, let me hear you guys in the crowd. There they go, man. All right. Yeah, there's they, they definitely uh, popped off for him there. Uh, E.T., though, Taiwanese representative, one of the favorites to take the entire tournament coming into this whole thing. But several times world champion, yeah, man. This is a world tremendous champion. mountain for Cafeto Anesta to climb right now. Not that I don't think he can do it, but if he does, man, that definitely going to be like a – it's going to be considered an upset mm -hmm. as agree. well as he's been playing today. Yeah, you know, it's it – it, it does feel weird to call anything an upset at this point, but yeah, I mean, everybody, everybody had ET pegged to be like one of the, uh, you know, like top, you know, top I mean, four on, at the on, least. On right? record right now, he's really the last one to do that against who's already the first, exactly, the number one. Whoa! I almost thought this was a button check. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, spacing each other out right now. Cofero Onesta, one of his main strengths, though, is the fact that his neutral is just so clean, so perfect, but it's going to be so difficult to play neutral well against E.T.'s geese, this character. Oh, wow. Whoa, yeah, he was just like, hey, I dare you to hit on the little Are oh. you kidding me? Right off the bat, the conditioning coming into play. It's looking kind of dire. A big roll. Managed to get out of the corner. W wake up throw is tremendous in this game, so I can understand that advanced strike at least once gets represented. But that early, wow. And E.T. did not let go of the steering wheel. No, not at all. At all, man. He you got to like, get your own car. He looked in full control. And wow. Okay, we got the Yamazaki coming into play against these, the Southtown boys. Oh, man. E.T. is like, I kind of got an idea of what you're looking for, He's Mr. Yamazaki. What in the world? Well, Yamazakis do like to do hot B a lot. That's kind of the perfect answer to that. Sure, yeah. All right, has to find an answer to some of these air buttons. These air approaches from E.T. are going unchecked at the moment. Yeah, you know, and Yamazaki not without his command counter options as well. In fact, a really good one if you really want to talk about it. Uh-huh. But yeah, again, the problem so far seems to be, you know, the keys jump to CD, the jump D. Whoa, oh my goodness, the cross good. under. Dude, that's uh, not a dead Yamazaki, but so much life gone. And again, he's barely touched the geese. Oh. Golly! That's like the eighth attempt that he's done, and it's finally paid off for him. But you know what? He's like, he's got such a health lead that he's allowed to, to take those risks. It doesn't matter. You know what? It is a rude. You forgot to ask the crowd who likes ET so they could cheer for him, and now he's, he's making Lyak pay for he's it. He's upset. You're right. You're right. All right. This is Derochi Chris. This is how Cafeto Ernesto got into Grand, got into top eight in the first place. Oh, my goodness. Just wake up with the Rekka series. 
Yeah, man, ET, no fear at all. Not a wow. Yeah, the punish. Why would too. you roll there? He said. The control is just immaculate. Bruh. Pofero and Nesto looking almost a little lost against the how to how to stop these approaches, man. Hey, man, Geese is definitely like one of the best characters in this game to play this kind of game that ET's playing right now. You exactly. know, in and out, in and out, in and out. And he got a bar too. So the next one's de wow. This guy. This guy. That was a really brave run. Yeah. Plus Frank. Oh what? my goodness. What? He's so ready. What? Yo. <laughs> Yo, ET looking so comfortable. The OCV very convincing win <laughs> over Layek, Cofero, and Nesto in this first game. Look at this guy, man. He's like, hey. <laughs> He's such a clown, dude. Business email and profile, by the way. <laughs> You know, Cofero and Nesto looking. Whew. I mean, I, I'd be kind of shook too, yeah. brother. Like, that was looking nasty serious. work. He's looking serious, bro. I think right now, uh, Cofero and Nesto, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know too many answers to that. You might have to change the entire play style that you came into the building with. Yeah, honestly, though, I'm like, where? I've, I've almost seen no openings from the way. Okay, there you go. That's what you need to see. Like, the, the, the anti-airs being absent in the last game ended up being such a problem. Ooh, okay. a front side? Okay. All right, Cofero and Nesto coming alive a little bit. And this is what we were talking about. We need to see a little more production out of Cofero and Nesto in the second game, and we're getting it so far. But ET ready to go on attacking. What, was that the OTG scoop? Looked like it. Must have been a misinput. And wow, okay, Cofero and Nesto taking the first round of this set. The crowd coming alive a little bit. Interesting uh, turn of events here. E.T. being forced to make some mistakes early in the second game. That's right. Look, as soon as that first anti-air hit, I guess it turned the tides a little bit. I mean, I guess I took the wind out of his sails. He's like, oh boy, that's a lot of my options cut off. Exactly. All right, but this is so dangerous. The pressure from Isla, especially when, the, when you're in the corner. Yo, oh, the run-up low B. Yeah, looking for another throw. Got opened up as a result. No punish there. Wasn't ready for the roll. Rolls are so good in this game. They are, man. Gosh. Just getting out of there. Wow, lands on the low B. Perfectly placed by E.T. Speaking of perfect, perfect round from E.T. as well. That Isla looking unstoppable now all of a sudden. One problem gone, and now the next one steps up to take his place. And we're used to seeing that from E.T. Like, sometimes he will, you know, commit to the OCV, especially if he smells blood in the water. But if he loses that second character in the second game, then we got to see the secondary come in. And, like, and it's been Isla lately. And famously at previous tournaments, you know, this guy has made uh, champions like Shao Hai switch their characters up, not only in a uh, roster, but in order. That's right. Because of this character. Oh, my goodness. What a problem she is, man. Finds the hit into the uh, the quick match conversion. Out of the oh okay, I think he might have uh, not pressed the D there. Possibly or maybe a little too late. Wow, jumps and gets hit by the flip kick DP Isla up a character and I think getting full health back. Yeah, Damn, I think so. man. Yo, Calfero and Nesto, I, I mean, he's, he thought he had a chance there, but the DP just shutting it down. Ooh! There's this. The run under, he was like, you know, what do, what do Chris's like to do at the beginning of round start? Well, if they got slide, they'll probably do that, but most likely hop CD, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, What a again. challenge. Every time Calfero and Nesto thinks he has a chance. He's playing a very similar game to what, that he was using with uh, Geese earlier, except it's kind of like in the air now. Exactly, yeah. Oh my, my gosh, again. God, get out of here. The plus frames, nice tech though from Copero Onesto, but again, Ooh. this comeback is gonna be almost, <laughs> almost impossible. Dude, he's, got, he's gotta dump it. I know he's thinking about the next round, but I, oh man, I don't know. The shatter strike interrupted as well. Oh yeah. man. Stopping the jump CD dead in its tracks. ET, the surgical display from him. Palms are sweaty. Yeah, ET right now, man. Uh, you can kind of tell where a player is at mentally during their losers match. Yeah. And they played the way he was so dominant in that. I'm like, this guy is in a not nice place mentally right now. He he wants to maul. Oh, absolutely. You know? I mean, he's not happy about being in the loser side. I'm sure he ain't, you know. And it ain't the first time he's even been in that in a situation like this. But, you know, uh, that's probably the most aggressive I've ever seen him play. Yeah, you know, I agree. I agree. Even on defense, he was swinging. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, kind of like uh, M Dash, you know. M -Dash with the geese, we're just turning these glancing hits into full conversion uh, combos. Uh, E.T. doing that is uh, scary work because this guy so far is the only one that's ever taken down Shao Hai. That's true, yeah, on like the, in like the grand uh, in the, the, in the, of stages. In the current, like, you know, uh, in the current company. Exactly, you know? exactly, so. yeah. 
So, uh, man, that was a. I'm a little. I'm a little upset about that. I mean, you know, I, I, I know. I, I wanted to see more out of Kafaro. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. But man, he Such had a, nice a great guy. run, though. That's the most important. Sure. Part. Yeah. I would absolutely commend him for his run. And if the you know the audience want to give him his props, he definitely deserves them. Oh yeah, no, they were cheering for him a, a bit when he was walking off. You know, giving him his respect. Uh, but up next, we've got Peru's The Geo going up against Pineapple, again, from Hong Kong. Hong Kong, man. I've heard this guy uh, trains with Ball, KOF legend of Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, man. So, like, uh, not at all surprised to see that uh, some of that domination is rubbed off on him. Mm -hmm. um, and he is a Shune, bro, so I'm definitely gleaming some of that tech. <laughs> uh, no one's blocking it, so I'm like, hey, might as well give it a shot, right? Yeah, you know, it's uh, he plays at such a, like, a frantic pace it's like so hard to keep up and especially when he's on the offense uh it feels like all the decisions that you make are the incorrect ones uh, yeah man because like no one wants to mash at this stage of the game but yeah. i think it might behoove somebody at least you know challenge it once or twice but pineapple's been running away with this offense because people have just been leaving them unchecked yeah but i mean um the geo of course uh the last Western hope, right? Yeah. Peru zone. But he was, uh, again, coming into this tournament, he was one of the guys that people were uh, throwing around, one of the names that people were throwing around uh, as, like, a, a potential, you know, top four, top three, maybe even, like, a winner type of situation. Potentially on his way here. Yeah. You know, uh, we obviously have several more matches of Lutra side to get through after this, but uh, if getting past Pineapple, I believe, would be, like, a gigantic step forward in oh, that regard. absolutely. But, again, both these guys, Titans, Titans. Yes. So it's going to be so difficult. Both these guys... They really want it, man. We really don't know what's going to happen until it shakes out in the ring. And then, honestly, oh, I didn't even realize he was a pad player. What the heck? He's a, you know, he's, he's a young guy, so. Hey, man, sticks are expensive. They are. They are. <laughs> but you know what else is expensive? Buying a bunch of pads. That is true, they, too, they yeah. Out, you know? They, de they definitely do. I am I'm witness of that. <laughs> Look at the, ch well, not the champ yet, but the champion's uh, circle hanging out there oh, in yeah. the crowd. All the, uh, you know, the American homies in the back. Nice. Yeah, man. This is a nice venue, too, bro. Like, I'm really uh, impressed with what um, SNK and Tenno have been able to put together here. Yeah, the homie there. Mexican contingent, of course, always representing, always supporting their boys. One of the love things I love it. the most about KOF and its community is just, like, you get so many different uh, cultural walks of life that yeah. show up ready to represent, you know? Yeah. And it's great, too, because, like, it don't matter, like, where you're from. Um, you all speak the same common language as KOF, right? Exactly. The love for the game. Sets in the lobby, baby. Yes, sir. All right. Looks like we've got the Geo on player one side and Pineapple going with the Gennets against uh, the Geo. We saw the damage dump uh, oh yesterday gosh, from Gennets, yeah. man. I, I think, uh, I don't know who was commentating that, but they definitely were like, wow. That was, That's kind of criminal. I was, uh, I famously got it wrong. Um, I was like, no way that kills, right? I, I don't, I don't think anyone blames you in that situation, <laughs> man. Like we were all just like, whoa. Yeah. What is this guy on? Nah, the, the character uh, does absurd damage. He, he's able to find those hits too, uh, fairly easily by stopping your approaches. When people like to hop at him, um, he just sticks out the giant EX tornado, right, and launches it them. It does everything, yeah, right? It's yeah, it's so great. It's a great poke. And in uh, Pineapple's hands, it seems to find the mark more often than not. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Geo, he's been playing so well. The I've been, closest, yeah, I've been, the I've been, closest. And I've been enjoying uh, his Blue Mary the most. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, his Blue Mary is uh, really just, I mean, it's just so so clean, man. Mm. And the one you were going to say the closest to the the one that got closest. The, the closest to beating Xiao Hai. That is, that is a, so we keep mentioning that. That is a big deal, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Seriously, everybody was so excited. That's all anybody could talk about after, you know, after it happens. Mm -hmm. Both guys playing very patiently, just feeling each other out, you know? And they see uh, Pineapple kind of playing a similar game plan to M-Dash and ET here mm -hmm. uh, with the in and out, no overcommit. Usually see Geese's uh, play that close up game because up close, he's pretty scary. That's right, but you know what? It looks like the Geo caught Pineapple, maybe trying to move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Has him in the corner. This is exactly where he needs him. My wow, goodness. that jump D is so active. Yeah, and look how slippery Pineapple's being right now. It's so hard for him to get a clean hit on him. Yeah, no, but at the same time, that life deficit is tremendous on uh, Geo's side. Wow, that's going to be it for Geese. Got caught by the cross-up. Beautiful. Perfectly placed jump B. All right, Geo opening up with the first shot of the game. This is a good momentum builder, but this is the momentum killer. Even with no defense on Shune's side, if he gets started super hard to stop him. It's 
really just whether or not he can get that game started because the Geo, I'm sure, is also aware yeah. that that's exactly what he needs to avoid happening. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, shooters around the world. Ooh, almost got hit standing with that uh, stand CD. Uh -oh. That would have been a lot of damage. This is where it starts, Hell Pockets. Uh-oh. Oh, he jumped out of there. Okay. He was like, yeah, no way you're touching me on the ground. You have to air to air me. Yeah, really well played, avoiding the situation. Wow. Oh, no. That's unfortunate, man. Yeah, you know, Pineapple manages to find the sneak in the hit kind of in the same way that Geo, the Geo did, you know? Both these guys, uh, you know, have to be looking out for the air approaches maybe a little bit more. I don't Speaking know. of air approaches, look at this. Yuri oh, Sakazaki, man. man. What, I think one of the last Yuri in the bracket, too. Yeah, that's true. And this character... Uh, oh, the reset! Absolute menace, man. Anywhere juggle command grab. Oh, too high for confirm, though. No. Yeah, but it did seem like it hit in front, and Pineapple wasn't ready. Nice DP into the uh, How Shoko can. He's got that on lock, bro. He's always trying to do that. Ooh, so that's that com big commit to the command normal that comes after a normal hit that can end up uh, betraying the uh, the aggressor. Uh, Shune, definitely one of the biggest offenders in that regard. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I know exactly what that feels like as an Iori player with the mm, four yeah. man. Oh, boy. Even me wide open. All right, but he, again, this is not, I feel like he has to really be careful approaching the Gennets. As you were saying, yes, very, uh, very careful. Oh, oh, man, this is gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. I think he should dump it. Actually, he doesn't have to. That's a lot of damage yeah. just for like that. Next hit, wow. oh, this is it, this is it. I think? Uh, yeah, man, I think so. Oh, not quite, no, not quite. No, okay. Oh, but misses the chip out. Stop Wait, this is really dangerous. Oh, okay, nice okay. smash oh. out. Wow. The pineapple avoiding a very dangerous situation. If you give that Pixel Yuri a chance, she can run all over you if you let that aggression go unchecked. I hope that, you know, honestly, uh, the Geo sees what he's dealing with here because every touch has been at least 45, 50% damage. Uh, again, oh, here we go again, baby. Like you were saying, 45, 50 damage. Yeah, man, you cannot get touched by this character. I know you're not trying to do that, obviously, but wow. Okay, big counter hit, or rather not counter hit, rather big CD in the corner. That's great for Geo. All right, he's got three more of those EX tornadoes on deck. I don't think he wants to give him that real estate, though, man. Has to really be careful. Whoa. Don't jump recklessly against Gannets with meter. Wow! I think he thought he was going to hit him out of the air. I think so. I think so. Because he saw the teleport start up, and it looks like he swung. But the teleport, it was like it a little It never came back, yeah, right? Exactly. It just stayed invisible. Oh, my goodness. The movement, the mobility of this character, especially while piloted by a player like Pineapple, what a treat to see. I wonder if you can delay the reappearing. I don't know. That was like the longest I've ever seen that. No, cook. I mean that's just how it goes. But like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You, when you're, you know, when you're sitting in that chair, sometimes you you kind of like you jump the gun a bit. You yeah. Know? Sometimes you think like, oh, okay, I got to do it because he did do the jump attack, mm -hmm. expecting to stuff it, but there was just nobody home. Yes, sir. All right, are we getting a character change up here? Got the the KOF 14 costume, Sylvie. Bit of a throwback for us old heads. Absolutely. All right, the Geo again. The West's last hope, man. Hey, man, you know, I'm trying to remain calm here because you got to be unbiased as commentators, but, I mean, as, as soon as Geo gets that one lead going, you know this house is going to explode. Exactly, exactly. The Pineapple, the way he's been playing, he's been leaving very few openings. Yeah, there's definitely no, uh, there's not a lot of uh, cracks in that armor. Yeah, all the, the, the way these guys have been running away with the geese, it's just like, how do you even approach? Those buttons are so gigantic, you know? The coverage is just uh, insane. Mm -hmm. All right, could be the last game of Geo's SWC run. Pineapple right now with two great confirms. Working on a huge life lead. And once again, playing that mid-range, you know, come at me, buddy. Yeah, you know, he's forced, uh, Geo is forced to play at this range that, you know, Blue Mary's not that comfortable at. Not at all. Oh, Looking okay. for the command counter, but a little too far for the rolling. The Whoa, okay, we'll just go all the way through with the string. Yeah, rolling the dice. Nice, okay, a little gimmick there. And this is what he has to do to make this work. He has to make Pineapple make a move. Looks like he went for another one, but got thrown out of it, unfortunately. But again, he Ooh. maintains the corner. Pineapple not actually out of this yet, but at the same time, this is definitely the Geo game. It was, at least. What? A turnaround for Pineapple, Just man. Just did it, bro. I mean, you know, he's got one of the better uh, downbeat, for, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. five A or five Bs in the game. Why not? The Yuri's got to clean up so much right now, and I don't know if she's gonna get a chance to do it just yet. Hard knock down in the corner. What's up for breakfast? Yeah, she got him. Oh my goodness. Bro, pineapple. 
Getting a little desperate is the Geo. What did you say earlier? Complete control of the game right now? Exactly. Uh, complete. The pace, totally. the pace is just completely in sense. Look at that. He can't get anything started right now. The evasiveness. And, and that far speed, you know, it was interesting to see that connect while the uh, far B whipped on Geese's side, but he couldn't make anything out of it. Mm -hmm. Manages to get a good jump over a fireball, but wow, he took a ton of damage in that round. The Geo, he's going to have to uh, play very conservatively to get this Shune out of here. And wow, Shune against this character, I feel like it's going to be, uh, you know, a tough order. And yeah, you know, like, this is a character that can... De wow, that was front side again. Oh, oh, oh big oh. drop. Wow, I need to see the replay on that one. Exactly, yeah. Okay, rolls out of the mix-up there. Yeah, right now, you know, you see that the Geo definitely wants to keep this on the ground. If this, yeah, it's really trying to bait the uh, the uppercuts at this point. Yeah. Great air to air, great control. Mm. Nice defense so far from the Geo, but you can only block for so long against Shune, man. You got to mash on that, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, listen, I mean, everybody knows that that's like fake, right? But yeah. like, he's got re like like real block string no, options for real, as well, for real, right? For real. Well, no, no, but there's, it's always a gap. Oh, always, always. But that's just something that he has, you know. He may not feel comfortable swinging at. I guess so. Oh no! Spends two bars on essentially nothing. My lord! He just knew. He just stuck out the far C. Yeah, man. Going oh, to a reset. More. Okay, nice. I was gonna say he's not even plus in that situation, and he still got the far C. All right, that's plus for uh, Sylvie there, but Gio already on life support. Yeah, he's just playing so defensively right now. But, oh, my God! Okay. okay, this is how it starts, Saru. It is, it is. He really needs this to count. He needs to stay on Shune. Shune not known for his defensive capabilities. Nice, okay. Outspaces the far C. Okay, I like it. Don't let him sail in on you for free. <gasps> Wow, the Super taking all of the wind out of the Geo sails and Pineapple moving on in the bracket on the loser side and eliminating Peru's the Geo. That, 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 that is a classic jump scare if I've ever seen one. Yeah, seriously, I mean, who's ever expecting that? You never, like like you were saying, Shune's defensive capabilities aren't really what you think of when you think of the character. Exactly, and I, I know that people like to use that level one super for that specific reason, but I did not think from that distance it was going to be threatening like it did, so, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, he just puts that gigantic, the claws just out there, you like, know, well, clapping. What, the clamps on you. Know? <laughs> right, right. What a way to end it. Right, for sure. The pineapple going to move on to Geo, Western Civilization's last hope in KOF Landia, out of the building. Yeah. Bit of a shame, but you know what? That's how these tournaments go, and it's we got the best of the best remaining. Hey, man, like I knew it had to happen one way or the other, right? Yeah. Just like I know I had this, this slide for Evo Japan registration being open had to happen. April 27th to April 29th at Ariaka Gem EX Tokyo. Yeah, I mean, Get your tickets now. I am always looking forward to Evo Japan. Always one of the, you know, the, the meccas of uh, fighting game competition, right, is Japan. There's so many good stories that come out of that competition as well. You know, you think about, like, the legends that were born uh, in the last four or five years, and mm -hmm. we, we've worked it before. Exactly, so, yeah. So uh, definitely have some stories from that as well. Um, but, yeah, if you want to register, it's still open right now. KOF 15 is a main game available. But right now, speaking of KOF 15, we got more coming at you after these ads. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more SWC 2023 Top 8 action. We are getting down to the semifinals of the final bracket here tonight. And it's all East Asia, baby. From all here East on Asia. out, it's the people that you've been growing to love to see every major tournament. It, the song remains the same, just as beautiful as before. Exactly, yeah. I mean, these guys, um, they've proven time and time again that they deserve to be up here. These are the guys to beat. And my goodness, they are putting on quite the show. Uh, absolutely, man. You know, I got, we got Shao Hai versus M Dash coming up in winners finals. We've got Lagia versus ET in the losers quarters. We got Score versus Pineapple in the losers quarter. It's absolutely the best KOF you're going to see anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is, again, this is exactly what we're here to see. The best players gathered all in one place. We've got it down to the final six players, and we are about to see. Uh, probably the best KOF ever played, right? I mean, a, a 15 caliber, right? Oh, you know, sure, like yeah. the, the game has been out for at least three years now, and we are, well, we're, we're in our third year, and, you know, these, these guys have been dominating ever since, but they've been getting better each exactly, year yeah, as well. Exactly, they've, you know? they've been honing their craft. They've been playing, you know, long extended sets with each other. Um, it's been a, really a treat to watch because these guys, again, like uh, both those guys up on the stage, mm -hmm. everybody left actually. They all just like they stream their their 
but they're very long sets, you know. Yeah. For 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 study, you know, for us, and um, it's again, like I said, it's just so great being able to go back and watch. I would say ET's probably the most active on that front. You know, this guy's always on YouTube streaming, making archives of long sets. Sometimes just playing random select with some of the best play up, KOF players in the world. Yeah, man. And sharing it with uh, with us every week. Um, but I guarantee you, that's also for his benefit. Like he's like, okay. What do I what do I need to improve on here? You yeah, know? yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we've got ET going up against uh, Lagia. Going to be another Taiwan versus Japan affair. Very common uh, in KOF uh, tournament uh, lore. Of course, yeah. I mean, the, both those regions have uh, some of the strongest players to ever do it, right? Absolutely. And these both these guys, of course, are among those guys that mo among the strongest to ever do it. And it looks like they're both ready, picking their characters now. And I know Lag has been ET in the past, so um, at least I believe he has. Yeah, 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 he definitely yeah, he, has. He has, yeah. So this wouldn't necessarily be an upset if Lag was passing. But uh, in the conversation of Lagia being on the echelon of like M Dash, Shao Hai, ET, uh -huh. this definitely once again solidifies that conversation in Lagia's side. Uh, if ET wins, it's just another day for ET. Yeah, sure, you're. It's kind of like what you expect from him almost. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and that just speaks to his 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 accolades. His skill. Which are many, man. Like, yeah. this guy's probably got, like, the trophy case in the homestead that's, like, just covered in gold, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, loading in now. The players are about to start. This is, of course, going to be one of the most uh, blood-soaked battles Absolutely. that we've seen. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I was going <laughs> to say, that's the best way to describe it. Yeah, These man. guys are going to leave it all on the field. All right, they have definitely two big button characters up front, too. Yeah, I and mean, we were saying before, I feel like uh, Yashiro might not have that bad of a time against the character like Giz, the character that's been giving so many players, particularly the Western ones, it felt like in this top eight, a lot of trouble. Yeah, there's a lot that you just can't do against the Giz, especially if you're going to try to stand up with them, you know? Mm -hmm. You, you kind of got to take advantage of the whips, and there's oh, not wow. a lot of them on Giz's side, especially E.T. Yeah, but you know what? E.T. was very ready to take advantage of the whip to jump CD. <laughs> yeah, oh. I was going to say, he definitely did. But one big hit from Yashiro can even it up in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, no, we saw that earlier as well when Lagi was playing. The man, he, he is ready with the big confirms with the big damage. Oh, man, counter hit, but didn't have the follow-up. Get the plus frames. Wow, that was a really brave challenge with the down C. Wow, again with the hammer. Oh, no, oh, no. no he, you know he wanted close He C. wanted it, yeah. I feel like he might have pressed too early because he saw it and reacted too I, fast. I think he thought, you know, if I do it too early, maybe I'll throw him out of roll, and then I'm not going to get kill damage. So he delayed it and ended up just getting forward A. But it doesn't matter. Got the geese out of there anyway. ET might have been a little bit nervous. Exactly, yeah. All right, Lagia kind of salvaging that. Again, we saw that before as well. Lagia doing really well with the Yashiro point war against Geese, mm -hmm. at he, least in the first game. And Yashiro, one of those characters that's very good, like you said, salvaging the mistakes uh, because he's basically designed to just hold forward. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Not enough yet. There we go. Isla, man. What more is there to say? The character's pretty good. She came out the box pretty good. You know, you talk about the pre-release Isla, oh, we're like, oh, man. remember those? Yeah. Don't, do not <laughs> remind me, bro. She was a fun character then, she's a fun character now. Sure. All right, hard knockdown now in the corner again. This is where Isla really shines. Yeah, nice she, oh, man. she takes to the sky so much, and you just think, like, you know, why doesn't the Rio just parry her DP? And I'm like, dude, those are all safe jumps. Mm -hmm. Have to be ready for anything, really, because she's so, her mobility options, she can keep you guessing constantly, and it's just really, it's uh, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. and she can do that from a very surprisingly far distance, too. That's right, yeah, and that was um, just uh, Lagia getting a little too thirsty to get out of the corner, and E.T. standing at the perfect position to punish, you know, the kind of the bad jump attempt there. Absolutely. Very greedy. It, yeah, correct, and now we got the uh, Sylvie coming up, almost max meter, but, uh, up against two characters, basically, here. We got a full health Isla and a full health Hyder in the back. And I guarantee you, ET's not going to try to spend too many resources. I agree. All right, manages to get the full combo. Has three bars remaining as well. Lagia not looking too bad at the moment. He needs to find the next hit very soon. Yeah, a hit right now. Oh, okay, okay. That's not that bad, but he needs a bigger one. He needs something that he can hang his hat on. Oh, no. That hurts. Again, a little outside the corner, the cross-up. Yes, he is very aware of it. Oh, double overhead again. Oh, and a nice DP, but he didn't commit to it. Wow, oh the Shatter God. Strike catches him in the air. He just knew. He was like, listen, I know you're standing at that range. I know you're about to do the, the you know, the, the dash, the dashing move, right? Certainly. 
Let me just shadow strike that right quick. ET with those kind of responses to those reflexes. Hard to beat a man like that. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, those reads, whew, out of the world, out of this world. Lagia, yeah, I mean, he was looking really good with the Yashiro, but like as soon as we got down to the Isla, the Isla just kind of started running away. Yeah, right? Oof. And yeah, ET's Isla is definitely uh, in the conversation, I think, for the best, right? I mean, it's definitely him and Chao Hai. Yeah, exactly. And we saw that at Evo, like, you know, ET went up to Isla, and all of a sudden, Chao Hai is on the back foot mm -hmm. until he whips out the Isla. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why that happened, right? Ready? <laughs> go. <laughs> All right. I imagine this will probably go a little bit even the previous game did in the point battle. Mm -hmm. So it's a 50-50 on Wow, a big jumping out the gate for Lagia. Yeah, Hold on a sure. Second. ET, he looks like he whipped the forward A. I'm not sure what he wanted there instead. That was never going to hit. Right. Well, I get unable to hold on to the offense there. He's about to. Whoa, okay. Very nice. Gets the pickup as well. Wow. Backside, baby. Yes, sir. I said it was going to be even, but I lied, man. Lagia <laughs> just steamrolling this geese. Yeah, only lose, only missing 100 health coming into the second round with the Yashiro, man. It's going to oh, be looking pretty good. We will always take it. Absolutely. But yeah, ET's Isla. This, is, this was the problem last game. And th again, right. this is the problem position. A oh, front side wow. again! Amazing. So how many times do you think you see a Yashiro take to the sky and it's probably going to be a cross-up? That's, you know, I think ET's probably thinking, like, he hit the front twice? Never seen a Yashiro do that three times! Wow, the jump A. Very nice. Lagia running away with this one. Three times, Aru. <laughs> Sometimes you just, uh... When you, when you see an, a Yashiro take to the skies, you're always looking for the cross-up, right? Always in the back of the head. Yeah, yeah. But you forget that that hop A active forever. The hop C can hit front or back. Beautiful block on the cross-up attempt, though. Lagia is looking so strong. Ooh, nice DP. What a response. All right, he's got to have to spend a lot of meter here, at least. No, okay, he's just going to go for standard damage, but... I don't know, man. I feel like you don't want to give this Yashiro too much time to stand back up. I know he has to go with the optimal combo, but man, if the Yashiro gets one hit here, he's going to dump that meter. Absolutely. Very dangerous straights here for ET at the moment. Mmm, the down C underneath that jumping. Ow, might be an OCV here, bro. It is looking very possible. Has to be very careful with these jumps, though. The flash kick might come out at any moment. There, there it is. is. I imagine Logia's got to be feeling like a million bucks here, though. Up two characters, and he's probably going to OCV on top of that. Yes, sir. Very nice response from Logia, man. I was going to remark on, like, the fact that he was jumping so much on Hyder, and you normally don't see people jumping on Flashkey characters like that, but the fact that he was up so so much, he was so comfortable taking those risks and uh, attempting to overload uh, ET um, over and over and over with those jumps. I mean, it's because it's a charge character, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you catch a charge character not charging the the, uh, the anti air reversal uh, during a jump, it's over. You can just keep jumping. That's you know? true, yeah. Because they're never going to have time to charge it again. You just keep hopping. Exactly, yeah. All right, we've got. Uh, looks like an order change, yeah. We've got Isla in the back now for ET. I don't dislike that. I think Isla in the back, if we can, if. Um, ET can get past the Yashiro without, it, what either, I mean, obviously without losing the Geese, that'd be the best. Right. But without losing too much of the Hydern, and then the Isla comes in with mad resources. I thought, did I see wrong, but I thought it was Hydern in the, oh, no, 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 you're right. It was the Geese, it was the Geese. Yeah. Wow, uh -oh, uh -oh. Oh, what, a what an idea. Using those uh, shrunken hurt boxes on that attack from uh, Yashiro. Wow, it just Dude. sails right over the fireball. Lagia and might be punish. seeing it, bro. Wow, okay, ET's kind of looking uh, a little desperate to get out of these situations. This offense that uh, the Lagia Yashiro is putting on. Yeah, he's, he's looking nervous. And, and Yashiro, definitely the kind of character that, like, if you are just making moves to get away from him, uh, he'll, you'll be surprised at what hits you. Exactly, yeah. I mean, you really have to play it right. And right now, I mean, right now, Lagia is doing everything correctly. That's four jump-ins. Four jump-ins un, um, unanswered. And this is this is a part of ET that I think we've seen in recent months where things just kind of fall apart for him uh -huh. and the simple stuff starts working. Yeah, man. Jump D forever going to be one of the best jump Ds in the game. Great Yashiro. check with the far C into quick max. Let's see what he does. Yes, gets the hard knockdown and everybody knows you get 
And left ambiguous right. left right here. Yeah, Walked it correctly, went for another one. And that jump A doing work right. Wow, dude. Oh my goodness, it's into a hard knockdown. Suffocating. It sure is, and it's gonna be even more suffocating right now. Could have DP'd that, that too, that would have been mega impressive. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see right now, E.T. is just like not come. Okay, too high for a confirmed no. Gets the command grab, one more 50-50 coming left, right. Maybe he just might roll. No, goes for the block instead. Says, I'm confident. I know where you, where you want to go with this. Yeah, the defense staying very solid, getting the, the throw as well. And he has an opportunity. <gasps> the cross up. Couldn't get anything out of it. Doesn't even try to block it. Just said, block it with my chest, buddy. Ah, okay. Gets a little greedy with that, but again, he was playing on borrowed time there, so I'm sure he's very happy about the amount of damage that Yashir was able to do to this Hydran. And leaving him with just a bar, maybe almost two after a couple touches, the Hydran has to play perfectly. Meanwhile, the Rio just needs an air-to-air. Uh-huh. Air-to-air, anti-air, a trade would even work. Uh-oh. Whoa. Now, no matter who you are, you still have to guess. Nice. Great response. Oh, man, he went for the EX. I think he could, well, actually, I don't know if he could have got a reset into the EX on rescue. Wow, he jumped over both of them, and the EX is still committed to the buzzsaw. Oh, man, that's not good, bro. That is not good, Aru. Beautifully done. Beautifully done by Lagia. Now he's looking to send ET home already. Yeah, and I know I said Isla coming in in the anchor battle with so many resources would be the best case scenario. He is literally in the worst case scenario right now. Down two characters with only one bar. Yeah, absolutely. But anything can happen. Isla is one of those characters that's very efficient, is able to build her own bar, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna hurt. All right. Did you dump it? I mean, you think about it. I think that's uh, I think that's a wise decision not to dump there, because if he gets another hit, he can he has the option to you know do to another. Do it again, yeah. yeah, exactly. <gasps> uh oh. Nice. Okay. Et kind of messes up his offense a little. And rolling out of there does not want even want to deal with the cross up potential. Mm, take that Back throw. In the okay. The overhead again. The corner. It's so dangerous here. He got the hit, but he couldn't couldn't get the firm. Yeah, Unfortunately. Bleed. Nice uh, far A. Didn't go for the EX on Redskin there. This is not looking too bad for ET. He's going to be sub 20 on the No, oh, it's not Hellfox. Oh my it's... god, that's it. That is actually. Oh, wait Whoa, a minute. no! Oh, that's so unfortunate. I mean, he still might take it, but wow, you don't want to let somebody like ET live a little bit longer. That I got to say right now. Oh one my more god, anything he'll do, do it. Chip will do it at this point. Bro! Wow, are you serious? <laughs> ET putting it all on the line. <laughs> choking, him, choking my own rage over here, man. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, my goodness. What a lord. But again, almost 100 health left. Oh, he almost got that jump in. With three bars, that would have been ah, pretty big. Wait a minute, oh Hellfire. Wait don't, a minute. Don't do it to me, Haru. Don't do it to me. Come oh on, Lagia. You got one more touch. No <laughs> way! No way! Gets the hard knockdown after this. Anything can happen, Hell Pockets. Oh my god. Come on. Deep ah, all right! I'm speechless, bro. I'm speechless. He's like, do I gotta do this one more time? Oh my goodness. Wait, Is wait, this wait. not over? <laughs> He's do I gotta do it again? My man looks lost, bro. Oh my god, did I win? Oh. <laughs> can't believe none of us can believe yeah, exactly. that. Either. Even he can't believe it. He's the one that did it too. He's like, I want you to say it. Tell me. Did tell I me, beat you? tell me who won. Tell, tell me, me I won. To my face, who won? <laughs> my goodness, that was incredibly done. I mean, really, ET was just on the cusp of making one of the most legendary comebacks that I have ever witnessed. You know, dude, that that is what. what give me a second. Mm. That is something that I've seen him do before, yeah. and that's why I got nervous when he did the run-up DP exactly. in the previous round. I'm exactly. like, oh boy, he's got nothing to lose, and he's got a lot of bullets. As soon as that first hit landed in that last round, I was like, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. It can actually happen, because ca that dude. character setup, they're nasty, bro. And then Lagia just stops blocking jump-ins, man. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It was good on him to keep it together until the very end. Uh, ET, of course, kind of overcommitting with like that late jump uh, mm. on the wake up and uh, the great reaction from Lagia gets him into the uh, the loser semifinal match uh, really well done by him yeah man and once again I say that Lagia getting past ET I would say in the GOAT conversation definitely on the Mount Rushmore of KOF players right oh, now oh sure yeah taking down a guy like ET it don't it doesn't happen by accident you know all right so Ooh. the next match that we're gonna see to see who has to play against Yep, yeah, Japan's uh, Sanwa Lagia is going to be between Score and Pineapple. 
So this should be interesting. Pineapple has been um, really playing up the momentum side of being on losers, I yeah. would say. You know, he's been just a freight train coming down the tracks. And Score kind of stumbled a little bit on winner's side. Yeah. So if Score can make the adjustment, uh, now's the time to do it, obviously. But Pineapple's got to be feeling like he's got the Acme rocket ship on his back. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, like you said, like Score, uh, he did just come off of uh, playing against Xiao Hai, taking the L. Uh, hopefully he's not still thinking about that. I doubt he is a player of his caliber. Uh, I, I think he's very focused, uh, fully locked in on this match against Pineapple. I'm pretty sure these guys play uh, pretty frequently as well. Yeah, score a legend in his own right, too. You know, definitely having quite the background in 98. Yeah. 98 UMFE. Mm -hmm. um, and also most recent KOF games as well. Yeah. Um, all, always in the top eight and grand finals uh, conversation at most majors. Um, and doing it for the fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. He, he has a tweet up right now talking about never imagined I could have been in this scenario coming from LCQ, uh -huh. winner side top eight. Let's have some fun and enjoy KOF basically, right? Yeah, it's all gravy for him. I'm, par I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Sure. But. Yeah, yeah, hitting, the, hitting the translate button. I'd be doing that yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. I'm like, this don't, <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, we'll just make this up. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> All right, we, we're going into it. We got the thumbs up from across the table. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm so happy to see Score back overall. Yeah. But to see him in this position, man, like I'm, he's got to be feeling like eight million bucks, dude. Like heartwarming. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we got Score on player one side, rocking his usual team: Orochi, Yashiro, Chizuru, and Hydern. Meanwhile, Pineapple, that Shune has been quite the problem. I gotta say. He's been doing stuff, man. The Shune been Shuneing. Yes, sir. Let's see if uh, let's see how familiar the score is. I'm sure. I mean, they've got like a you know one of the premier shunes out there as well in Moke, right? Oh, yeah, d definitely. And I know oh. those guys get down on a regular basis. Yeah, man. Uh oh. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. They are swinging. All right, I'll have to take the damage on the uh, the OTG there. And right now you see score. Unfortunately, the Orochi Yashiro got some good buttons on his own, so he can kind of box with the geese, but the bulk of his damage is going to require he get basically up close and personal with the geese, and I don't think Pineapple's going to let that happen. No, it's not looking like it, but again, he's in the corner now. It hasn't got much say in it anymore. Pineapple, though, wow. Snipes the command jump. Yeah, keeping it ca calm and composed until the very end. We're seeing so much of this. The point geese putting on so much pressure, making it so difficult to get in and get anything started, and you've got to do it so many times since it is a point battle. Yeah, you know, and it's like, it, it feels like the less resources you have, the more health the opponent has, you mm -hmm. know? Chizuru's have been represented well this year at, a, or rather, this tournament today. Um, and score one of the original Chizuru's of K-115. That's right. Yeah, definitely representing her for a long time. Nice. Okay, catches him out of the air, but a big trade, actually. Oh, man, didn't want to commit to that. Has, a, again, Geese is near the corner, but Pineapple is playing so well. Picking every spot perfectly. Ooh! Didn't want to commit to a forward A there. All right, doesn't continue anymore. But again, disengaging to neutrals. We're going to see that so often with Geese. Look at those back dashes, bro. He's like, listen, I'm going to stand here at three-quarters screen. You're not going to be able to do anything. You it, can't even come close. Yeah, it's so interesting because, like, normally you see people saying, like, I don't want to give her that real estate because mm -hmm. then I'm just going to be guessing on which, like, what mirror throws clones she's throwing at me, right? But uh, Pineapple finding the optimal space, saying, like, if you throw it out, you, the sweep's coming, bro. Exactly, yeah, no, he's, he's so good at the spacing, man. And again, he's got that huge life lead, two-character lead. He's able to play, you know, as far back as he wants. The onus is on score to close the distance and get him out of here. Most importantly, three bars, so if he gets a significant touch, that could be a lot of damage. All right. Yeah, he's I mean, finally out. Score, uh, stopping the bleeding, at least for the time being. But Pineapple now, this is the kind of the story of this player. The Shune coming in with four bars. Fascinating stuff here, though, because this character, Hyder, actually the counterpick to a lot of what Shune wants to do with those air dashes. If he shows that air dash too many times to uh, Score, Score's got a level two that'll catch it. There's no evading it. Mm, that makes sense. Okay, catches him doing something, messing up his offense. And now Score gets the 50-50 here. Rolls uh, out of it. Yeah, 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 I respect it. It's <laughs> not really a 50. It's more than a 50-50 since there are, you know, some other things to do besides mm -hmm. block. Oh, be careful. Nice. Gets the counter hit. Okay, nice. Gets out of the situation. Ooh. Okay, score. Bringing it back right now. We have, again, we have seen score make these miracle comebacks with this hider. And so Pineapple really cannot get too comfortable. Yeah, man. But then again, we got this powerhouse of a... 
a damage dealer here. Yeah. I mean, the next hit is probably, what, like 70% ish? Yeah. Oh! Oh, that was a little too hot. Too okay. okay. Not flush enough. Yeah, glancing blow. Oh, wow! I can't believe he couldn't get punished that. That has so much recovery. Nice. nice. I love to see that. Don't let him get it for free. That's a big neutral jump from score. Not enough to kill, but he's not going to be in a happy place. Yes, sir. Again, now has to guess. What a reversal from score. Wow. Okay. He got... Just like that score in the driver's seat of the loser side top eight battle. Pineapple on his heels. That was absolutely ridiculous. I didn't. I honestly did not expect that to happen. It was just such like a, it looked like a hopeless situation. But you cannot ever count out the score, Hydern. Nah, man, score. He's having too much fun right now. You yeah. know, like why would I give up? It's too much fun playing this game. You know, it's interesting. You see a lot of um, the characters that are represented in this uh, in this top eight, or even throughout this entire weekend. A lot of the characters they get really good setups off of their combos. You see a lot of that happening over and over and over again. And I feel like that's kind of the direction that the meta has been going uh, in this patch. You know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, so you the can, damage dump, we go for the reset. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's like um, you can never count anybody out because once you get your offense started, even the best players have to guess correctly for their lives. Mm -hmm. And rolling, like you said, rolling is an option that technically takes away that 50-50 scenario, but that rolling also leaves you open to a lot more damage if they call it out. Yeah, and these players, they're so good at calling it out and punishing it. And, you know, as, as hard as it is to do sometimes, these guys are the masters of their craft. Totally, man. Like, how many wake-up throws have we not seen? You That's know? true, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I can almost, I feel like I can count them on my hands. You definitely can, and they were all advanced strike bait. Right, exactly. Ooh. Nice re-jump. Yeah, that far B is going to be very well represented from the Yashiros against the Geese because that could definitely outrange him uh, and outspeed him in most situations. That's right. Nice down C, though. Score keeping it very close this time around. Nice down C. Get off of me. Ooh! Wait a minute. Score's kind of cooking right now. I'm saying, I don't think Pineapple's got an answer for this Orochi Yashiro right now, especially with this life. Oh, no. What? What a oh, bait. no. That was incredibly done. Score actually, he like intentionally, it looked like missed his, his uh, safe jump timing and Pineapple recognized that and stuck out the EX counter to, to blow it up. But Score was just one step ahead. That it, was was always, it was always an empty jump. Exactly. And now, yeah, if I'm, right now from Pineapple, I'm a little nervous right now because uh, two characters by Shune with two bars, not an easy task. Uh-huh. Again, these down Cs, re so well represented. He's anti-airing like a champion at the moment. Bro, the score playing like one of those online Yashiro's right now. Was there a gap? I'm command throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, the coverage though is just so amazing. Everything is coming up score at the moment. Pineapple now on the receiving end of what could be almost be looking looking like an OCV. Uh, potentially, yes. He doesn't get anything off the ADP, but he gets to cross up anyway. Okay, what's up next? Doesn't get a lot of damage. He has to touch him at least two more times. This could Super? be it though, yeah. Yes. Oh, he had to dump so much. Yeah, a little unfortunate, but you know what? That Orochi Yashiro was causing him so much trouble. I think Pineapple, he really needed to do that. And I think there was maybe 30 seconds left on the clock, so he's going to get an okay amount of life back from here. But at the same time, his Chizuru can run away the entire round. Yeah, man. But all it takes is one opportunity. Get in once, get him in some hard knockdown situations, and start putting on the pressure. Mm -hmm. But she can definitely swing. She can swing on Shuna. Shuna ain't got no real buttons that can fight this. Gotta be careful. Oh uh -oh, my gosh. Uh oh, yeah, well that, that's Dan CD. And that just It's not do bad, it. but it's when you whip bad. it, oh boy. You're right, you're right. You're just sitting there for like uh, for a minute, it feels mm -hmm. like. All right, Cheezer now looking to seal the deal for uh, score. It's a, it's a, it's a 97 reunion. <laughs> that's right. Again, it's though, not gonna make it easy. Sticking out the tornadoes makes it difficult for the clones to, you know, run around on the screen all willy-nilly. Absolutely. Oh, we see the guard break tech coming into play. He's not going to spend anything on the guard cancel. He's like, hey, you got to earn this guard break. Okay, finally. Oh, oh, there it is. Guard cancel roll into guard break. You've got to be feeling that one, Pineapple. And now sealed up, too. This is really bad for Gennett's. Oh, my lord. All right, this is exactly what he needed. <gasps> No, he can't afford any more of those, and Score can literally just start mashing buttons right now, and all Pineapple has to do is run into it, and there's the far D, the perfect button to hit in that scenario. That was incredibly done. Score looking unstoppable as soon as he made that miracle comeback with that hider, and looking, I don't know, man. I don't I don't know who can stop this guy. Maybe, maybe there's one guy in the bracket left that can. Uh, he's definitely running 
up against them in the future because, man, that was so dominant. We need to know that. I'm not saying that he could win the tournament. Obviously, anybody in the mix still could win the tournament. But, wow, dude, like, how do you, like you said, put an end to that? Yeah, honestly, I, the way Pineapple was playing, he was one of those guys as well that I was kind of, like, looking at to be like, hey, maybe maybe this guy is a champ. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. You know, Pineapple had the rocket ship on his back, and he was playing that first game perfectly, you yeah. know? Like, it really came down to the high turn, uh, just being all gas, no brakes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and, absolutely. And Score just let him have it with both barrels twice in a row. Yeah, I mean, the clutch factor that we're talking about here with uh, with Score is just incredible, so. Most, most certainly... Uh, a clutch factor that has been honed over many years of combat and competition. Uh -huh. So I think that came to the forefront there, man, because Score been doing it for a while. Yeah, yeah, he's, he has. He's one of the OGs for sure. Um, and speaking of being an OG, we've kind of got like a like a clash of the of the, the old, ages. OG and the new G, as yeah. they call it. Uh, we got Lagia versus Score in losers semifinals, waiting in the wings oh man and these guys probably play each other a lot too oh you know, sure this, yeah. like that whole circle definitely just be like yeah, Japan, exchanging Japan. blows so we're down to the top four uh, of course on the winner side uh who could forget we've got uh china's own xiao hai going up against m dash uh china japan 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 all left in this in this top four man that's kind of how it goes man kinda it's like the story of our life <laughs> right 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 <laughs> Yeah, you know, so pretty exciting stuff. I cannot wait. These guys have been all they all these guys have been playing um, so well. The, their opponents, they almost look like um, they just couldn't stop them, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, and like and that just speaks to the caliber of play here because Pineapple up until that point, like we just saw, was like a, a steamroller of a Shune player. Uh, and then Score, who had just gotten steamrolled in winter's side, was yeah. coming in basically cold. Yeah, you know, man. like, man, had to make an adjustment and makes the biggest adjustment at the witching hour, mm -hmm. you know? And now Pineapple is watching from the bleachers. Yeah, I mean, unfortunate for him, but, uh, you know, he put on such a great show. Uh, kudos to Pineapple, you know? Yeah, man, Lagia, obviously, uh, someone else who came down from the winner's side and has been dominating everyone in his path up until score. We'll see how that chase out because right now, We've got a big one for you guys. Oh boy, so we are moving on to our winner's finals. So this one is going to be three out of five. We've got Xiao Hai versus M Dash. I would suggest you get your drinks now. This is going to be uh, one of those games that we want to see everybody on their feet for because it's going to happen, man. It is, This man. is going to be one of those things we talk about for a long time. That is true. And, uh, this, and I'll be honest, this is actually kind of special for me because I don't think I've really witnessed them clashing like this in my country. That's know? true, actually, because uh, I think this might actually be M Dash's first time in the States. Um, Not in the States, but definitely um, playing Shao Hai in, uh, in um, 15 in, in this kind of scenario. Uh, he did show up to Evo 2017 and got. Oh, yeah, he, did he? Uh, okay, I must yeah. have missed that. He was in top eight there, I believe. Ah, okay. I mean, where I else, he right? Was maybe. I don't know. I'm senile now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> old man pockets. Yeah, we're getting old, bro. It's fine. I understand. We? I mean, <laughs> this guy. I am, too. Maybe uh, at, at the same rate as you are. You, you know what, what I mean? Yeah, you're forever 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. Looks like the players are uh, readying up at the moment, uh, getting their buttons set up. Oh, dude, they, they definitely feel it. Oh, this yeah. is This is an important moment in history right now. They're just like, there is no rush to get this started on either one of them right now. Yeah. So, I mean, um, looking kind of at, like, the history of these two players, I believe uh, Xiao Hai, as you might expect, has gotten the better of M Dash uh, more frequently. But, like I said, um, everybody remaining in this tournament has looked unstoppable. So what what does it take to stop an unstoppable force? Another one, man. An immovable object. Or just another unstoppable force. Let's see what happens A bazooka. The clash. Yeah, right? A space laser. Either way, I'm looking forward to it, man. We got Benimaru, Geese, Isla, player one. Wait, wait. We're seeing. Uh, I'm that... seeing the mirror match, man. Okay, okay. But it's Shawai. You don't know what his team is, man. He just he just played cool today. What the heck? That is true. He <laughs> did. He did. Okay. Looks like it. They're locked in. <laughs> the the complete mirror. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Honestly. Uh, watching both these guys play these characters at such a high level, always a treat. All right, no more waiting, except for the load time. <laughs> All right, we're finally getting into the nitty gritty, man. The winners finals, three out of five action for you guys. Who gets to go to the grand finals on winner's side? Such a coveted position to be in.
Just want to once again just say uh, this is an incredible feeling to be doing this here for SWC 2023. Yeah, I and mean, I know, likewise. And I, and, I, and I know they feel, I know everyone in this building right now feels that. And yeah. It's all about this right here. Dude, honestly, the atmosphere here has been electric yeah, all absolutely, day. Absolutely, yeah. Not disappointed whatsoever. Yeah, M Dash putting on the offense uh, to start. As Chow Hai in the corner now, but a great far D. Oh, that was a big whiff, but unfortunately, fortunately for him, uh, that, that geese was already in the air. Man, I can't, I don't really know which one's which. They already crossed up so many times. <laughs> right? Yeah, Shao Hai, though, has uh, a bit of a better position at the moment. Okay, Shao Hai. Oh, went for the down C. Uh, caught him jumping, though. Now, you're going to see a lot of that going on in this oh, match. Oh, boy. M Dash finding the hop D. Off to keep him in the corner. We've seen a lot of geese uh, throw people out of the corner for the damage lately. Mm -hmm. And I think it's worth it, too, because you get the hard knockdown still, so you can kind of set up shop one all over again. Sure, yeah. All right, has Shahai again in the corner. Nothing doing yeah, right now. But M Dash, once again, with that commanding life lead, feeling like, you know what, I don't have to force the situation. <gasps> he tried to force the situation, and Shao Hai hits him with the surprise shatter strike. Okay, so this is what I'm noticing. I'm noticing that when the player is feeling more dominant in the neutral, they are okay throwing the first. Oh my goodness, another oh shatter strike. Shao Hai, God. psychic with it. You know, be, be it Shatter Strikes or DPs, Shao Hai's got a million of them. Sure, yeah, no, this guy, he's just, he's always a step ahead, it feels like. How do you beat him? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, he had no life, basically, at the end of that, but the M Dash just gave up on the gas. And once again, we're seeing that uh, Shao Hai floored it. Again, tossing him out of the corner. Like I was saying before, I think when you're when the geese player is feeling only a little like, yo, I got better than neutral than you. I'm just gonna toss you out of the corner. I don't care. I'll just win neutral again. Exactly, you know. You know? Uh, but now like uh, that was actually pretty fortunate for M Dash. He finishes off the geese pretty early in that round, gets a lot of that life back, and two bars, almost three to play with. Oof, big DP. Bigger DP. This guy's playing almost identically here. <laughs> As you might expect. I, I think so. I think they study each other so much, they're probably ad adapting to what they expect the other to be doing. Exactly, yeah. Oh my oh, goodness. That big jump, D. M Dash he finds an opening with the EX right, Jin Ken. So important that M Dash backed up in that situation because, you know, he was, uh, Shao Hai was jockeying for like a cross up possibly. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, finds a hit, but no combo, unfortunately, for M Dash. He really needed that. Might have been a little too high. It doesn't have the life lead to keep Nice, back confirmed. Back. Jeez, one hit. Get him out of here. Beautifully done. M Dash keep him, keeping the lead right now, but he's fighting for every inch of this lead. Hey, man, that's what I've come to expect from an M Dash and Shao Hai matchup, man. They're fighting for their lives in there right now. Mm -hmm. Nice air to air. Oh, that, oh it chases down the wall. Yeah, but a little too far for the down C to connect. Oh, no forward, forward no uh, super to catch that jump back. Oh man, all that, all that pressure, the guard, the guard gauge is hurt screaming, bro. It is. Oh, oh and there it goes. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't DP as soon as he recovered, you know? Because we've seen that same situation play out in the last game, uh, the last set as well. Maybe he just expected to be comboed immediately and he just was not ready to, to act. I'm surprised he didn't DP instead of guard canceling roll, the guard cancel roll. Sure, you know? yeah. That would have been. Wow. A little more uh, beneficial. Shao Hai, though, stealing the lead away just like that. M Dash in the corner. All of a sudden, the situation. Wait a minute. He really thought it was coming, and so Shao Hai said, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. We're going to. No, air reset? Yes. Never seen Down C get pumped like that so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay, M Dash finding the jump C. That's Not, it. Wait, yeah, it is. First blood goes to M Dash, man. All right, M Dash putting one on the board, showing that even gods can bleed. And you know, we've seen that already this weekend, right? Oh, we've seen that several times this weekend, but we've also seen every day of this weekend big adjustments in the second game. Uh huh. Yeah, never get comfortable, man. This guy's always looking at your habits and adjusting his play style to counter you. Yeah, and I think right there, uh, we saw Shao Hai going for the two low down C's in a row and ends up eating a jump in anyway. Uh -huh. um, that's something that I would expect him to not give up on, but possibly temper a little bit in the second game. Sure. All right, we're going to see another very patient grindhouse game. Okay, nice neutral jump from M Dash, finding all the openings at the moment. Oh, M Dash playing this perfectly right now, man. 
starting to feel like MDAS has been playing uh, stronger than South High all weekend. You know what? You might just be right. Uh, man, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, but at the same time, it's still surprising to say out loud, especially with the, the run that KW15 has had competitively. Exactly. All right, Xiao Hai, though, working that guard gauge, but MDAS fighting his way out of there. Oof! Very dangerous situation. Look at that guard gauge, bro. Yeah, because like that guard gauge was screaming, but he was like, dude, I got the life lead. I can't get guard broken here. So smart maneuver to guard cancel blow back there and take your base. Beautifully done. I mean, M Dash, that was looking just one more blocked normal, and everything could have turned so bad for him. But Such an interesting game plan, too, because it's the second time we've seen M Dash get that life lead and just abandon the offense and then almost lose his defense. Mm -hmm. Two bars, that would have been activation for sure. But already, M Dash up tremendously in this game. <gasps> oh, wow. Whoa! M Dash looking to take another character. Has the Benny Maru in the corner. Off to keep him there. Doesn't go for the grab yet. Oh, my God. Now he's. Oh, he actually, that wasn't a hard knockdown. That's right. Oh, went for the chip. That is a punish, baby. You missed it. Wait, what is happening, Xiao Hai? Usually so, uh, so sharp. A little gun shy, huh? Uh huh. Okay, one more. Hey, man, it's M Dash working on an minute. OCV Yo, here, bro. M Dash is looking so strong, looking like he might be the first to, to pierce Xiao Hai's plot armor. This would be tremendous, man. Isla coming to clean things up. Never count this man out. He's almost got five bars. Yeah, I would expect Isla to do something big here. That's one. That's one big maneuver. What, what just happened? Uh, <laughs> that sucks. That's okay. You watching? <laughs> that's rough, buddy. <laughs> Still, though, he's uh, still alive. You know, anything can happen. Wait. That was so dangerous, that down C. Oh, man. I wonder if M Dash even trusts himself right now, man. That's one of those brain breaking moments. <laughs> yeah, you can't think about it, though, when you're on that stage. And I'm sure. Yeah. I bet he's probably forgotten by it now. I hope so. He yeah, needs yeah. to adjust immediately. Exactly. Dude, he was in so much control up until that point. That's true. That's true. But you don't have the freedom to think about anything else when you're playing against Shao Hai, right? All right, we got the Benny Marvel coming in, three and a half bars. We've got plenty of resources on M Dash's side to make this competitive. Four on uh, Chao Hai's side in Azizla. But the big cross up is going to spell the start of the momentum for M Dash. Yeah, let's see what he does here. Goes for the, uh, the Rekka series. Nice. Okay, guard cancels out. Really wanted out of the situation. Look at the guard bar, though, for Chao Hai. And look at him disengage as well. Mm hmm. He knows that mother, another sequence like that. Wow, he got the hit on that. This is going to be good damage. He's got the corner, too. Might be going for the reset. Yeah. All right, putting on the pressure. The double overhead. We're seeing that a lot. Another one, but great block from M Dash. M Dash is trying to run this clock. Oh, he had a punish opportunity there. Wasn't ready. Didn't expect it. But again, Xiao Hai cornered himself. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? What? What is happening? Xiao Hai dropping so many things right now. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this anymore. Is he, is oh, he on? Oh, no! Bruh. M Dash taking game two in kind of a dominating fashion. I got to say, Xiao Hai looking a little ner nervous. They're all, we're humans, and humans <laughs> get cooked time to time. I don't know what's going on, man. This guy, everybody's been talking him up all weekend, myself included. Uh, but you know what? Yeah, we're all on the hook for that one, bro. <laughs> I'm still a, listen, I'm still a Shao Hai believer, bro. This guy, you oh, can I never count yeah, him out. I, you know? I totally believe he can take it. But at the same time, I and I know what it's like when you get that gift-wrapped punish handed to you on your front doorstep and just hit him with a Farsi. And you're like, ah, I got nothing left. I, I can't believe it, though. At this level of play as well, it's it's um, you, you got to think that the nerves have to be a factor. Oh, I'm this. sure. But, and that just speaks to the volume of talent that's on that stage right now. They both recognize each other as absolute monsters. Monsters. Uh huh. All right, we went back to order select, but I'm not sure if we're actually going to see a change. We shall see in just a moment. Here. I don't even think it would be worth it at this point. Those characters are working perfectly in the slots that they're in, and really, it just came down to human error. I agree. I agree. All right, M Dash looking one game away from putting Shao Hai into the losers bracket. Nobody would have Did not have it on that. my bingo card. Yeah, nobody I think would have expected it. that. This guy, everybody expected him to kind of breeze through. Uh, but, I mean, he, he's had to sweat a lot this tournament. <sighs> That's true. Now that you mentioned it, Shao has not had the 
most dominant run, I no, would say. No, not at all. Usually we are used to seeing that, but he's been uh, getting checked. You know, it's uh, everybody has just leveled up their game, I think. And that's great. That's what I love to see. All right, M-Dash taking the first bit of damage in this third game. Mm -hmm. All right, though. Fights out of the corner, back to neutral. He's neutral. Xiao Hai might be turning it up a little bit. He needs to. Checks him out. Of the wow, what great a response. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my Lord. Two empty jump throws in a row from M-Dash to Xiao Hai. And now M-Dash, once again, gets the commanding life lead, backs off of it. Back to neutral. And look at him. He's putting up the wall using those hopped CDs. <gasps> what? The reactions. Uh, yeah, no, see, I think what that was is, like, he's okay with the clock getting below 30 because then it's like, hey, if I got that, if I got such a good life lead, I don't care if I'm below 30 seconds by the end of the round. Uh, it's still going to be more than what you would expect coming into the second. What? That was psychic. He just sat there and he just saw Xiao Hai roll towards him. That was amazing. I think I, he's been cooking that all day, too, because he's been missing them, right? So he's like, all right, let's take a, let's take a breath and just wait for it to come out because we know it's coming. Yo, M-Dash has such a huge life lead right now on Xiao Hai. It is... Really, I don't. I did not expect this. This is really surprising. No, to see. yeah, this is not the, the third game I thought we would get. But okay. all right, Shao Hai cooking right now. Dave Sambar though, this is um, he's playing a little greedy. I gotta say, nice DP though. I think because he, he, he hasn't taken any damage yet, he's like whatever. Don't ah, need to end yeah. it too quickly. You're right. You're right. And the strategy seems to have paid off. Shao Hai evening the uh, the score here very quickly. And I'm winning in the resources battle. Right. Ooh, no activation there. That would have been really big. <laughs> that would have been crazy, bro. No with punny. Oh, you got to be careful, man. He sees that third time. He might have an answer for it. M-Dash playing so defensively right now, not overextending into anything. And Shao Hai, it feels like he just, it feels like he just kind of feels like he needs to go in. Mm. That, that jump B to drill is a high percentage maneuver, brother. Sure is. Again, M-Dash just disengaging. He's so content to play far back. Mm -hmm. He's like, let's get sub 30 seconds, and then you got to come at me because you ain't going to get nothing else. Beautiful whip punish on the far C, and Aru. that is going to do it. M-Dash took almost no damage that round. Aru, M-Dash might be the god today. M-Dash looking to stamp his ticket into the grand final winner side at the moment. Just Isla standing in his way. Don't want to speak too soon, but man, M-Dash looking so impressive right now. Psychic DP. Yes, sir. Wow, okay, just checking everything. Everything's coming up M-Dash, dude. Mm -hmm. And I think right now, Shao is thinking about how can I get rid of this Benimar without spending too much of that meter because I'm going to need it for the other Isla. Look at this, dude. He's just not going in at all. It's crazy. Yeah, he's playing it like he has a tremendous life lead, and he kind of does. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. the double cross-up catches him eventually. Shao Hai is going to need to spend a lot here, I think. I mean, he might just go for the reset. Yeah. Oh, no, super kill. Yeah, I think that was a wise decision. Um, ends the round before it uh, goes on to the 30-second mark. Of course, I, I keep harping on about it, but it's so important to get that life back. You want to get as much back as you need because if you end up in a two-touch situation versus a one-touch, that's big going into the final round especially. Exactly. Oh, man, M-Dash still looking cool as a cucumber, though. Yeah, dude, it, it, it feels like he's in the driver's seat. It's a little like a bit of a roll reversal, I feel. I think so, too. Oh, my God, unfazed by the pressure. Goes for the little B, and I don't know. This doesn't do a lot of damage. We're going to have to wait to see, man. I don't know. I feel like he's dead. I don't know. I feel like this is it. Ah, M-Dash advances the grand finals. Yo, M-Dash, what a dominant performance against the tournament favorite in Xiao Hai. That was... I don't know what to say. <laughs> that was legendary, man. That is legendary. And I, we we all look dumb on that Evo video. <laughs> I know, dude. I, I I mean, listen, he's not out of it. That was literally... He's definitely not out of it. No, There's no, still, no, no, no. still an opportunity. There's no. still a very big chance. Yeah, no, seriously, seriously. But, uh, wow, M-Dash was looking like he was just on another level at the moment. Yeah. Well, he is my second best KOF player of all time. So. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you said? Okay. That's okay. a little bit of a spoiler for you guys. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Wait till that one drops on the Evo channel. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That was that was mind-blowing. I don't think I've ever seen Xiao Hai get handled like that. No, and, seriously. Yeah. I, I don't think so either. I mean, he's again, he's still in the loser's finals, so we're going to take another quick look at the bracket here. You can see it. We've got Lagi against Score to see uh, who has the honor of playing against Xiao Hai, who was sent here just recently by M-Dash. Yeah, man, Lagia score, got the 
that's going to be a barn burner on its own, man. Mm -hmm. But Shalhai, not used to being in that situation, you know he's got to be stewing in that seat thinking about, man, whoever comes through that door. That's true. Going to rip him apart. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I mean, man, it's hot. he has to be angry about it, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, certainly, man. You know what I'm not angry about? Uh, these merch deals we got going on at the 10 -0 booth, man. Look at that right there. The SNK soccer jerseys, courtesy of South Town by a 10 0, man. I got to get one, dude. I don't even like soccer like that, but I definitely got to get one of these. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they've been, they've been running the, the booth here all weekend. They've been doing a lot of, getting a lot of sales, you know. Um, don't Make sure you guys don't miss out. Use the, uh, the QR code at the top, right? Scan that or go to the, the link above. And you can get your merch. Yeah, and you can see me rocking this black and blue Benny Baru variant right there. Lovely. I think I might get the white one later on, actually. Yeah, I got the uh, the Fatal Fury guys. That's like my favorite image from the promos, man. Pretty good. I like the I like the Joe eating the glizzy. It's pretty yeah. nice. <laughs> Speaking of glizzy, we need to grab a bite. So we'll be right back with more K-15 action here at SWC 2023 Grand Final. This is it, guys. The final stretch is upon us tonight. We prepare to crown the first KO15 SWC champion. But first, we got to get through loser semis. That is true. That is true. We have gathered all the four strongest players of this weekend for this bracket. Um, loser semis coming right up. We've got Lagia going up against Score to see who has the honor of facing Xiao Hai in the loser's final. And who we got in the grand finals? Well, the grand finals, I mean, again, not exactly a shock, but considering the most popular bet of the weekend, M Dash breaks all brackets. Yeah, man, I, I would have to agree there. Uh, that was he won in such a dominating fashion. Yeah, that was the biggest surprise. Yeah, there. I think I did not see that going down like that. No, seriously, seriously. So it's gonna be. I feel like that he's kind of blown the doors wide open for this tournament. Um, anything can happen really at this point. Uh, most certainly, no. And, and, and the way these other two gentlemen, Laggy and Score, have been b performing uh, this top eight bracket, uh, they're definitely on that energy right now. That's you know? right, yeah. And another thing um, uh, I was going to say, the M Dash and Xiao Hai match, that was um, a battle between, you know, M Dash, the former SWC champion, right? The right. last time they hold, held this. Mm -hmm. And Xiao Hai, his, his season this this uh, this year, it's been so incredible. I mean, he won Evo, Evo Japan, and he's looking to, to, to get the thr triple crown here. Getting the SWC championship. But I, mean, I mean, that that, that, that seems like the shoe-in, right? But yeah. uh, right now he's got a big uh, mountain ahead of him, and one of them might be coming up to see him pretty soon. Yeah. All right, we've got score going up against Lagia at the moment. Japan versus Japan. We got Yashiro versus Orochi Yashiro to start things off. Two big guys with two big buttons, but two different schools of thought. Yes, for sure. I got to think right now, these guys got to feel great, you know, like, hey, mm -hmm. what's, yeah. what's that mean? Like, hey, here we are. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I could have imagined, man. These oh, guys, yeah. they're at that level, right? They're, they're regularly oh, at this yeah. situation, in this scenario. Yeah, but again, there's been so many strong competitors here all weekend, man. Uh -huh. like, I couldn't call it. For sure, for sure. Nice, the fadeaway jump CD, keeping Lagia in the corner now. Score trying to put on the, actually not, not pressing, really. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're backing up into the corner. You must be waiting for me to jump in on you and, uh, there might be something going on with the peripheral here. I think uh, something's up. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe it could be the headphones or maybe it could be the stick. Who knows? But uh, Yeah, we shall see what uh, what the judges have to say about this. It's a great way to like, get yourself some extra uh, cramming time, you know? <laughs> yeah, some breathing room. <laughs> yeah, Lagia looking a little um, uh, apologetic. Yeah, I hope everything's okay down there. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Looks like uh, not, not many issues. It's got to go back to the buttons uh, selection. And he forgot to do his button check. Yeah, that, it's possible. That's possible, yeah. <laughs> hey, we, we still come from a generation where the button check was in the middle of the first, or the middle of the round. So like, <laughs> that's right. That was what, that was the mix up. Yeah, well, not Loggy though. He's, he's new school, right? Um, I think 14 was like that too, oh, though. Was yeah. It? yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. All right. So again, we're gonna see same order, looks like. All right, we're going back into stage select. These guys are, they're ready. Yeah, this is it for real, guys. Score versus Lagia, man. No more do-overs. Get ready for a battle of titans.
a subway stage too. This one's pretty popular, I've noticed, with I've, the yeah, Asian players. I've noticed a lot of people are picking this. You know, the the, the myth of visual lag definitely uh, reigns supreme sometimes uh -huh. in the minds of top players. They might, it might be a color thing too, right? Mm -hmm. Dark background. That's also something I was going to mention. K-15, uh, one of those games that gives you the option to adjust the background uh, brightness mm -hmm. depending on your sensitivity to light. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Catching him with the forward B. Lagia ready to go this time. Oh, Catches him back dashing. This is definitely a different Lagia than before. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Che checks the hop with the uh, the stand B. And I'm loving the personal expression of picking regular Yashiro that Lagia is showing us right now. Like, this feels like the true Lagia we're seeing with this character. Mm, okay, nice. The down C catches him. Has the heart knocked. Oh, wow. Brave roll out of the corner and score, which was not there to punish. Oh, that was a, was that high? Was that too high? I, I suppose it was. Oh, oh wow. no! I got some uh, some thoughts on that down C from Orochi Yashiro because I guarantee you if that was regular Yashiro, that down C would have connected. Oh my goodness! And now Lagia taking the first character in this set score down to the cheese who already has such a tall mountain to climb. He's almost uh, what 800 health uh, Yashiro. Mm-hmm. Still doable, but what a mountain to climb. And he's absolutely not giving any real estate up for free. That's actually not a true string. He could have pressed the button in between it. But yeah, but you're so scared to, right? Exactly. Because he's got all those different options to frame trap you. Goes into the mindset that uh, Score's playing right now. Might be a little shook. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely playing a little conservatively. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't get the combo after the counter hit. Maybe a little too far for it. Whoa. Okay. We're going for the guard break? Yes, sir. Putting on the pressure, but great defense so far from Lagia. Doesn't bite on any of it. Yo, what a sweep. Yeah, beautifully done. Oh my god, he is so loaded up. Yes, sir. Oh, he drops my. It. What in the world? Lagia may be getting a little nervous. Okay, score. Taking a huge jump into the face. Lagia keeping it calm and composed with the perfectly timed hop over the clone. So that's a that's a non-issue at that point. He was going to spin the bar regardless. Still got the kill. It got to be feeling great about that. But wow, that was scary. Really lucky break for No him. way. Oh, my goodness. He you said you're going to press a button at round start. Check the shoulder. Normally it's Hyden that's hitting you with the, with the <laughs> right? round start, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we might be seeing the end of the yeah, Yashiro oh, nice. out of here finally, but wow, what work did the Lagia last Yashiro do on Score's team? Yeah, but again, we saw last time Score was up here, put, he pulled off a crazy comeback with this hydrant, so never count him out. He's got three, almost four bars to work with here. Mm -hmm. He's so linear, but that linear, those linear attacks can reach so far, might actually get to outrange the Rio. It is certainly possible. Okay, great trade in Score's favor here, and another one. Oh, yeah, parry that. He don't have to block that at all. No, sir. Great air to air and a great uh, pickup as well. Mmm, what a challenge! Beautifully done. All right, let's see here. He's going to do the hard knockdown, and we've seen this before. Same old song and dance. Where is he going? Wow, okay, he delayed it, and a big roll out from Lagia. Yeah, Lagia right now saying, I still got a character behind this, Rio. No reason for me to waste resources on fighting this losing battle. Okay, I like the sweep there. Get it where you can. Lagia with the, the trade on the call kid into EX and Hukyaku. Meter dump incoming. I would say so. Yes, sir. That'll do it. Game one going to, to Lagia. And a way to stay calm and collected there in that situation because that was kind of getting away from him for a second. Uh huh. Really, I mean, the, the, the score hider, you never want to leave him alive for even a second because that guy is such. He's such like a sniper with that character. Yeah, man, it, you, the dude finds a way, and I think that you can't give him time to plan, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> no prep time for the high turn. None whatsoever. All right, we're going back to that same old stage. I think, did I see Lagia switch in the Sylvie? I, I hope not. He won that match. Oh, no, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah. We, didn't, we just didn't get to see the Sylvie. That's right. I'm, yeah. I'm going crazy. It's been a long day. It's been a long weekend. Man, anybody, anybody, hold on a second, bro. Let me <laughs> check that replay real quick. <laughs> right, right, right. It has been a long weekend, but it's been a magical weekend at, at that, man. Wouldn't trade this experience for anything. No, no, sir. Honestly, I'm like, I'm so sad it's, that it's almost over, you know? Yeah, you know, like, it's my first time in Hollywood, California, and I got to say, this has definitely been memorable, but not, and not just because of this tournament, but it's a big part of that. Wow, great DP anti-air from Lagia, looking so strong, so dominant already. Yeah, Set the pace. Take that corner, man. 
Ooh, that could have been big. Wow, just raw. I mean, it's safe on block, so why not, right? Yeah, why not indeed. Score, though. Okay, finds the great air-to-air -air with the jump CD. Mm. So I wonder if the old Rochi Yashiro can command grab that if he blocks it. Oh, no. Whiffs the anti-air, and Lagia taking full advantage of the whiff. I don't think Score's comfortable with this semi-mirror, man. He seems all, uh, kind of unsure with the angles, you know? Yeah, a lot of sorts. Doesn't go for the half circle forward rush grab off of Confirm. And goes for a command jump like that out of the corner? I don't know, man. Lagia was just so ready. He was locked in. He was looking for the, those feet to leave the ground, and he hit that, that, that down, down C. C man. Beautifully done. Down C. The hit, ya, regular Yashiro's down C literally reaches the top of the screen. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no way around it. Oh, almost got the pick up there. That would have been really cool. Oof. Meter dump, man. Right now, scoring a lot of trouble on his back foot against the point character on Lagia's team. Still doable. Three bars on Chizuru's side. And she's definitely one of those characters that can just turn things around. But not when she takes damage like this. I don't think she's dead, but she ain't going to be alive for much longer if she takes another hit. Absolutely not. All right, and Lagia, again, giving him space to hang himself. Oh, wow, the frame trap catches him. Beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen someone challenge the Yashiro strings as much as Score is doing right now. And there's a reason for that, you exactly. know? <laughs> yeah, you're seeing exactly why. You get, like, uh, hit into the wall. Again, opening up the round with a jump that gets DP'd. Lagia is looking so locked in at the moment. And remember, this set is the final two out of three of the tournament. So this is Score's final chance to make it further in this bracket. He's got a lot of work to do right now. The buzzsaw is doing most of it. But oh my lord, he has to get the next opening quickly. Yeah, ops to keep him in the corner and, and do as much, much, as much damage as possible. No, he doesn't want any more parts of this Yashiro for any longer. All right, that nope, not enough to kill. There nice. you go. Charging while running. Very he, well done. 40 seconds, he might get full health back here. That is entirely possible. And again, it, it, he Just needs about. to make this comeback if he wants to stay in this tournament. His life is on the line here. In the previous game, he had just barely gotten down to the Rio and was actually mounting a comeback versus the Rio. <gasps> no punish! He committed to the sweep! So unfortunate. He really needed that damage. The, any easy damage that Lagi is able to give him. No! Oh, buddy! This is not what you want to see. I think he's just going to let this one rock and go for the hard knockdown next time. Oh, no, he's going for the full extension! I guess he's not confident in getting the, the stray hits, you know? Yeah, no, he's thinking that if I have to get rid... Oh, no meter, though! Wait a minute. Wow! Beautiful. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. No, he had it! Anything can happen. Anything can happen to Hell Pockets. He's got Rio in the corner. He needs to get this. I, I, I think the, the, the Lagia is just trying to wrap this one nice and easy. I don't know if it's going to happen. No, level three coming after this. Freezes Give yourself a chance. Freezes the timer. Uh, I don't think this is going to kill, but we shall see in just a moment here. Most likely will not, but I've been surprised before. Almost does it. Doesn't even get the life lead, though. Cross cutter, no. Runs in to wake up CDP. Wow, score almost made that comeback again with the hider. It's, it's incredible to see how Lagia was able to push score into the corner like that. Uh, score was looking unstoppable, you know, until until he ran into Lagia, you know? It, it goes down like that sometimes, and Lagia in his own right was just looking like he had a super ferocious Yashiro that would carry him well into his opponent's team, and he has been doing that consistently all weekend. Yeah, that is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Yeah, uh, man, that so. Yashiro's at least two characters worth of damage, man. <laughs> Tell me about Woo! it every single time that, in that set. Um, so you guys might have noticed that Lagia remained on the stage before we cut away. There's a reason for that. Up next, we have the Losers Finals coming up. It's going to be another three out of five affair. We've got Lagia going up against Chow High. Chow High, man. And the way Loggy is playing right now, I mean, I don't want to make any predictions here, but I will just say if Chow High is coming in with the adjustment from his winner's finals match with M Dash and Loggy is coming in with his fists drenched, drenched in blood from the score match and the loser semis, oh man, this one's going to be a slobber knocker, as they say. It sure is. Yeah, I mean, I cannot wait to see how this how this goes. Xiao Hai, of course, uh, fresh off of a pretty convincing defeat. And uh, I got to wonder if his mind is still in it, you know? It better be, man. It better be. You, you don't know? get to take the day off now. <laughs> yeah, you never know uh, when your next opportunity to throw down on a stage of this magnitude will be. Yeah, no, you actually just summed it up perfectly, man. This is it. Yeah.
This is it. There this is, is what, no tomorrow. This is what the entire season has been building up to. You know, we've got down. We've got it down to the final three players, the best of the best at the moment. Who will take the coveted SNK World Championship crown? I don't know, man. It really could be any of these three, the way they, they've all been playing. The gravity is definitely setting in right now because this ain't just any other tournament, mm -hmm. you know? And I put, even include Evo brand in, in that regard oh, because yeah. that's something that comes around uh, pretty frequently, and Chow has won a couple of them, obviously. This is the SWC, SNK World Championship, Grand Finals. You're in grand, Losers Finals at this side. Uh -huh. You lose this. Who knows what happens next year? Nothing is assured. That is for certain. Oh, yeah, look at all the homies in the back there. Everybody run you're still running casuals, you know? It's, it's great to see. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's trying to play sets. Great. I'm loving that they put the sets in the back, by the way. Oh, yo, yeah. look, it's our boy. It's our boy. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> oh, a, hey, man. girl. The scene stealer, as usual. Man, she beeline for that camera, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah, okay. so it's been like a complete pleasure to watch all weekend. So like, I'm hoping to see more from her from and, and further internationally. I hope she comes out more often. Now. I agree, man. You know, I agree. I think the camera the loves her. Everybody loves her. The chat loves her. It's it's great. Meanwhile, man, Lagia looking to make a bigger international name for himself right now. Because like like we keep saying, he's definitely been in the mix for a very long time regarding KOF 14 and now KOF 15. But he, I don't think the stage has ever been this grand for him. No, I don't think so. I mean, Lagia, it's it's true. I don't, I don't, I can't. I can't recall. Anything. I placed this higher than Evo Losers Finals, man. Oh, okay. And it, just the, the concentration of talent that comes into this top eight after what they had to go through just to get here. No doubt, no doubt. Dude. And like, look at the remaining two players that are left in this tournament besides Lagia. It's you know the guy that's threatening the thri the triple crown, right, Xiao mm Hai. -hmm. And there's also the, the the previous SNK World Championship winner in M Dash. So. This is the cha tournament of champions, man. Yeah, he's he's among giants at the moment. But you know what? Lagi himself is also a giant, though, especially the way he's been playing today. And, you know, the entire season up till this point. Yeah, no, he's very amazingly consistent. Um, I, and I think a little bit of, a little bit of maturity is coming his way. I think some mm. growth has been in store for him this whole season because the way he's playing right now is very different than the way he played last year mm -hmm. for the most part you know like the way he plays Joshua especially right like this is making this got this character this player really shine through that mm -hmm. I think he's found I mean I guess you could say fighting gamers find their calling in a character and I think he's found it in Yashiro yeah you know I, I I'm inclined to agree because again Yashiro is not a character that we've seen being played well by anybody, yeah, yeah. Any, literally anybody else in this tournament. It's only him, and it's, he's taken this character so far, and you can't do that unless you really resonate with the character, right? Because, mm -hmm. he's, you know, he's considered sort of like off-meta, right? Uh, right now, yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't like to look at tier lists because I feel like at any moment, like, oh, someone's going to win a tournament with an off-brand tier list character, and yeah. you're just going to be like, oh, well, who's got the right tier list, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all a matchup thing, right? And you look at the matchups that he's been playing Absolutely. pretty frequently. It's, it's, you, you've seen the geese on point being represented a lot by the Asian players, and uh, Yashiro, like we've been saying, I think doesn't do too bad against them, right? And, and must not because he's literally playing his senpai's team right now. So exactly. you know he gets plenty of experience with that. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Losers finals, three out of five. Lagia versus Xiao Hai. Who will stamp their ticket? Into grand finals, Into man. grand finals. This is so huge, dude. Xiao Hai, of course, he's really thirsty for it, man. He wants that triple crown so badly you can... And feel it. Yeah. And he's so he's uh, he's usually so like he's so sure of himself as he should be, right? He deserves it, right? Um, but right now, after that last game, maybe he's a little shook. Who knows? I mean, I I, I don't know what it takes for people to not get nervous when they sit down across from Xiao Hai because he's done it to the greatest. Mm -hmm. All right, Xiao Hai, really aggressive right off the bat. I think Xiao Hai knows, like, I cannot let this Yashiro start dictating the pace. Yeah. That is know, not a boxing match I want to be a part of. Lagia, though, wisely DPing out of the situation, and Xiao Hai, again, reset to neutral, but has a slight life lead here. Okay. Oh, oh. a little high on that, uh, a little early on that jump. Hey, yeah, he left himself swinging in the wind. Yeah, big punish from Xiao Hai, always so ready. All right, the sweep, man, that was dangerous. Nice counter hit, nice full conversion as well. Lagia spending almost all of it. And now we've got Xiao Hai in the corner. How's he gonna defend himself? Jumping air to air, apparently. Just get me out of here. Oh, that could have been humongous. 
Anything can happen still. Help Pockets. Next touch basically decides this. And they both got good resources to finish it off. I, but at the same time, I think they want to hold on to it. Of course, yeah. Everybody wants to be as efficient as possible with their meter. You know, like maybe, okay, so the Yashiro is going to go out first, but that means that the Ryo is going to come in with two bars and basically a one-touch geese to deal with. Yeah, Shao Hai, I mean, the, the geese obviously won the, the point war, but at what cost? It cost him most of his bar. Yeah, thankfully in the games, uh, the updated games, you get a bar for losing a character here. So mm -hmm. going into the secondary match, as long as this geese doesn't have to spend his meter before he potentially loses the round, uh, the Benny Marl could get three. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Lagia now. Whoa! Trying, okay, trying to space him out. Nice. Okay, catches the roll with the throw. Xiao Hai not pressing anything. I think Lagia feeling pretty comfortable with that ending, but so is Xiao Hai. He's thinking, I got a full health Benny Marl coming in. Three and a half bars. Low beast for everybody. Yeah, neck and neck at the moment. Anything can happen still. Mm, no activation. No activation again. They weren't ready for it. Great check on the hop. Shao Hai, okay, perfectly placed uh, frame trap there. Yeah, that sweep is super fast. Yes, sir. Ooh, no activation, but he goes for the super instead. That's optimal damage coming up. Knockdown in the corner. Wow, really? Loggy just sticking it out there and confirming. Beautifully done. You know, it's one of those situations where like, oh, man, my opponent hit me with the big knockdown drag out super. Well, I got one of my own coming mm -hmm. up, and he let me touch him. Let's go, baby. Oh, right. no, EX! Nice DP, and yes, the EX juggle to seal the deal. Lagia looking so strong. Xiao Hai on the back foot once more against these Japanese players. Oh man, they know they I gotta say they might have a read on them right now, man. It's entirely possible. You gotta know these guys were sharing tech with each other, sharing strategies on how to beat this guy. This guy is the one with the number one target on his back. The funny part was he was probably in the room while they were doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's entirely <laughs> possible. Wow. Oh, he got the corner too. Oh, I think level two is coming. Yeah, yes, baby. Indeed. He's going to get half a bar. Yes, he is. Oh, this is it. That's a dead Isla. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm a liar. Not quite, not I quite. I thought he had like a level one or, a, or like a, a ADP in the stancy after that. The jump back A, though, seals the deal for Lagia going up 1-0 against Xiao Hai. Everyone's pick to win this tournament. What are we witnessing here right now, Hellpockets? I, I, I think uh, commentator's curse from a day ago might be in effect right now, bro. <laughs> it's entirely possible. <laughs> Listen, it's not just us, though. Everybody, Everybody was, was saying it, it dude. Everybody okay, it's it. not just me, man. It's not just us. But Xiao Hai has done incredible things in the past. I cannot count this man out until the turn the match is over, honestly. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, Lagia looking unstoppable right now. All the decisions he's making seems to be the correct ones. And I think, it, you know, and if, it, and if it comes together for the young man, it, I feel like it has been a long time coming for Lagia. He's been so close to being on that upper echelon of the conversation of greatest KOF player in the building. A lot of people have expected him to extend to that height uh, either this year or, an, or a coming year. Nice, okay, finds the sweep. Trying to put on more pressure, but Xiao Hai trying to his best to stop this Yashiro from getting started, that, but... Oh, really? All right, Xiao Hai giving him a check right now. All right, might want to chill on those hop A's, man. Yeah, puts him in the corner. Now Xiao Hai in the driver's seat. Lagia's guard gauge looking a little, a little scary at the moment. Not gonna try to, well, I was gonna say, he probably don't wanna spin that meter until he got a touch, and there it is. Yes, sir. Oh, nice roll back. Yeah, I know, a lot of people don't challenge that, but that's probably the best option, really, just get out of there. Sure, yeah. Back to neutral we are. Mm-hmm. All right, there's a trade there. I don't think that's going to be bad on either side of that, but the next touch most likely will be significant. Nice jump back, D. Oh, yeah, we want that trade if you're on Lagia's side. Oh, oh, what a jump in! Right over the hop B. That is not easy to do. He must have timed it perfectly. Shao Hai taking the first character now in the second game. This might be the adjustment that we needed. Shao Hai got a proper manhandle in the previous game, but uh, it looks like he's starting out with a back at you, Junior. Uh-huh. With that bar C almost got destroyed. Nice, okay. Punishes the landing frames with the down B. Xiao Hai, he's not gonna go into this night without a fight. Wow, Lagia getting the jump in of a miracle right now. And I think he's gonna spin it. Yeah, get him out of here. Yes, sir. I mean, that geese has been such a problem already. Lagia really needed to, to, to stop the momentum, really. I mean, so you can call it a moral victory there because he forced the Ryo to spin the bar and he's not getting all the health back. That Benny Marl's coming in, about to get three bars. Good situation if you're Shao Hai. Sure, yeah. Just has to make sure he doesn't get hit by this 
by this guy that hits like a like a grown man. Look at that. Look at what we're about to see here. Uh, the far C is working overtime oh, right yeah. now. Oh, what are you going to do about it? Do it again. A re -jump. Hey! Now that is going to scale damage because it's a stand CD, but it still might be enough. Yeah, it's real Sakazaki we're talking about here. He's going straight into the level two. Is this going to be enough? I think it oh, might no, just no, be. No, 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 I'm not going to call it now, but if it's... Wow! Bruh. What are we witnessing here, oh, Alpacas? I think he just thought, why not, right? I got four bars. Let's go into the Isla anchor with five bars. Maybe he'll t get touched by the DP. Dude, Shao Hai, what is happening? This was this was everybody's pick to win the tournament almost without a sweat. And what are we seeing here? He is on the back foot against Lagia in this loser's final match. Ooh, if that would have been a jump D, that would have been a lot of damage on Lagia's side. I'm so surprised he got hit there. Oh, my God, Aru. Everything is coming up Lagia at the moment. Xiao Hai, is he crumbling? What are we witnessing? I, I think Xiao is he's getting outplayed. That's straight up. I don't think Xiao Hai's crumbling. Lagia is just better right now. <gasps> Lagia is just better right now, brother! Okay, this I don't think this is enough, but... No, it's not enough, but one more touch is going to do it. He's about to go up 2-0. Oh, man. Outplayed. That's all I can say. Lagia, on, he on one right now. This is unbelievable. I, can, I literally, I am speechless. This guy, Xiao Hai, every... I was so sure. I was I was willing to bet my house on this, you know? This is crazy. Look how deep in thought he is. Where's the adjustment come from here, man? Because, like, Slagia has beat him on every avenue. I, I honestly couldn't Buttons, tell you. Uh, couldn't game tell plan, you. defense. Lagia, like, he hasn't even been able to open up Lagia significantly. I really don't know. I really don't know, and I, I, hope, to, I hope that Chao Hai is able to find that answer quickly. Can we go to a character select, maybe? A new character, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it looks like they went back to order select. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's order select, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't see, I, I mean, in theory, I don't see, like, a new character making a difference here. Fundamentally, the game plan on Lagia's side is just outperforming whatever Shao Hai has to offer right now. Yeah, honestly, it's just like, uh, Lagia is just picking the, the best spots. He's reacting properly to things, and Shao Hai, normally that's his game, right? Yeah. And, and also, he's not giving, and, and, uh, and Lagia was getting some glancing hits and not converting them earlier, but he's yeah. doing that now. We saw the Farsi convert into EXC Pukaku mid screen. That, stuff like that is huge in the situation because how many times in a KOF match do you get a heavy hit and you do nothing with it? All the time, man. All the time. It's so hard to one hit confirm, man. But like Lagia, you can tell he's super locked in mm -hmm. at the moment. And Xiao Hai, he really needs to hit that zone. Otherwise, he might be looking at yet another 0 and 3 to another one of these Japanese competitors. Oh, my Lord. Sending what, him home. What a storyline. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, this is the guy everybody was expecting the three peat here Evo Japan, Evo, and then SWC. It's, it's really everything's been going that way, right? I think he needs some time, man. Honestly, I say take the time you need because this is looking rough, buddy. Yeah, no, I want to see the best possible Shao Hai, you know? I'm going to look at him in person. I can't look at him on camera no more. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel that energy off his back right now. That guy is steaming. Yeah, no, Lagia too. I think maybe he's like he's trying his best to stay focused, right? I mean, actually, he just brought up something important. What if he's icing him right now? It's entirely possible. It is. And, like, uh, that's, you know, it's valid, you know? I, I would do whatever it takes, man. That's potentially 50K on the line, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, looks like he's come to the conclusions that he's needed. Hard, we shall see. Hanzo Gonzo told my hey, bro, put the headphones back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's about to call in the judge, you know? All right. Yeah, check this man. This thick got melatonin in there, man, putting me to sleep. <laughs> All right, let's see these orders. Okay, it looks like the same order from Shao Hai. And actually, yeah, both these players, same order. All right, man. I mean, if I believe anyone in the history of KOF can make the clutch adjustment to turn this situation around, it's definitely Shao Hai. Absolutely, yeah. But at the same time, I've never seen Lagia perform as well. Likewise, likewise, both, uh, I mean, Lagia and M Dash, they've both been playing um, the best KOF I've ever seen them, yeah. either of them play. Absolutely. <laughs> What is the change here? What? What? Okay, let's go. A little go. more patience, possibly, right? But he has to be consistent with it. The yeah. one thing about Yashiro is that, like, he doesn't actually get to play any kind of zoning game. He has to get those big hits. Exactly, but he did just fine when he found a big hop in, and now Shahai with the hard knockdown into more pressure. Mm. All right, fights his way out, but again. It's going to be difficult to open up the Lagia um, Yashiro because the defense has been so good. I think it might be the case that uh, Geese may not be able to box with Yashiro, man. It's entirely possible. Okay, nice. The one frame counter. Ooh, he challenges that. That's big for Shao Hai. That, no, I don't know. I don't think so. 
Are you serious? <laughs> One was... errant button, Aru. Listen, I was thinking the same thing. Like, is that going to kill? Surely not. But Shao Hai, he just knew. I'm going to talk to Amita about the damage values in this game, <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh, oh big again. damage coming Dude, up. Dude, the far C confirms into EX uh, Shinpukyaku. That's like, it's the bread and butter here for so Lagia. We, we've definitely confirmed that Lagia is looking for stuff like that. And why not? He's got the best character for those kind of confirms on his side right now. Not only the best character for it, but he's he's got them world-class reactions, mm -hmm. right? He is capable of doing it on the world stage against a player like Shao Hai. And Shao Hai right now has to find something super magical, right? Well, I wouldn't even say they're even right now, but it's still, he needs that hit. That's he right. needs the momentum to swing in his favor right now. The containment. Putting up the wall with the Rio. Hard to approach. You see no. Xiao Hai. He's like, he's second guessing his approaches. Yeah, a lot of rolls backwards. That's exactly what I was going to say. I don't normally see Xiao Hai second guess his buttons like this, his jumps. But uh, he's abandoning so much. He had a couple of openings and did nothing with them. <gasps> the cross cut DP. Lagia is so ready. Lagia has seen it too many times before. He's like, hey, man. Oh, no. It didn't EX though. Lucky Xiao Hai. He can't get in. He just, he simply cannot get in. That's rough, buddy. Okay, uh, nice. Finds an opening there. Still but still a secondary battle right now, so not a bad idea to wait it out if you're Shao Hai. No DP. Yet another? Okay, okay I like there it. it is. There it is. No! He saw it coming a mile away! That was insane. The reactions. Lagia is so ready, and he is on the verge of sending Shao Hai home here at the SWC 2023. And I think maybe Shao Hai might have telegraphed that a little bit because he saw that stutter before he ran forward. Exactly. Yeah. Three and almost four bars for Shao Hai Isla, though. Oh um, my gosh, the perfect spacing on yeah, that. Yeah, that jump CD from Ryo is actually deceptively evasive. Okay. Oh, Dude, trepidation. He's just, he can't open up Lagi. It's just impossible, it feels like right now. He needs a low B or stand A something. He's got four bars. I guarantee you it'll be an activation. No super. I feel like all his damage is coming from stopping the approaches rather than his own offense. Yeah, and even though uh, Lagi is real, does not have the life lead, he's playing it like he does. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he didn't have enough time to punish that either, but still, it didn't even matter. Did not even matter. Oh, he got the hit on the counter. That's it. Show has gone. Lucky advances the grand finals, Japan grand finals imminent. I am speechless yet again. Shao Hai, everybody's favorite for the tournament, being sent home at third place. First by M Dash, and now by Lagia, the young buck of the KOF scene. It's unbelievable. I, I said at the beginning of the top eight that he had to have the kind of performance that would require the conversation to be centered around him extending to the Mount Rushmore of KOF players, and he could not ask for a better weekend than he has put on today. He has really been playing out of his mind. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen Lagia uh, play at this level before, and boy, is he going to need to keep it up because M Dash has been looking. Yeah, he's also been looking sharp as hell, you know. <laughs> Wow, but I still, like, I just, I cannot believe it. Chao Hai, everybody's favorite to win the tournament. You know, this guy, he's been winning everything, everything. Seriously, he's been so dominant. That's all anybody could talk about, including myself, right? No, we we, we definitely on the hook for that one, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Internet. Like, we definitely <laughs> all went and said the same thing, and it is what it is. Lagia and M Dash, the, the training partners, handled the boy. That is true. Handled that is the true. kid. <sighs> I, yeah, seriously, it's, it, it almost hasn't sunk in yet that that's happened because... Uh, it's just surreal, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, regardless, though, we're going to have an All Japan's Grand Finals. Um, it's going to be Sanwa Doyu M Dash going up against Sanwa's Lagia. Hey, man, this is... This is exactly the kind of surprise at a tournament I think everybody was hoping for. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I think everybody, um, you know, we've, we've been watching Shao Hai win so much, it's almost like you kind of, you can kind of skip it was, to it the was end. It was automatic, yeah, right? Yeah, everybody it, feels like they've skipped to the end of the book already and seen mm -hmm. the ending, you know, but nah, nah, not this time around. Well, we've let's got, look at the top eight in general. Like, look at all these names that are usually in this grand final scenario that just aren't right now. It's M Dash and Lagia, uh -huh. who are also in the grand final scenario a lot in KOF tournaments, but of this caliber, man, this is a big statement. That's right, that's right. And again, like this is a, a run back because uh, M Dash and Lagia, they did meet earlier, like you mentioned. And winner side, yeah. That's right. M Dash 2 0 over Lagia. So again, uh, this is going to be really difficult, I think, for Lagia. So let's see if he's able to make the adjustments that he needs, man. Yeah, man. Like we saw like M Dash playing that in and out game. He gets the life lead, then he backs up, and he's like, okay, we're getting sub 30 seconds. You're getting kind of nervous. Come on over and get this work. 
Dude, he plays, M Dash plays so defensively. It's like, it feels so frustrating, even as a spectator watching him, you know, just nickel and dime people from like three quarter screen, whiffing knee, you know, with Benny Maru building that meter. And then as soon as you start to go in, he's like, listen, I'm, I know exactly I'm what you're about to do. I'm out, <laughs> yeah. or I'm going to stop your approach, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. I've been enjoying every minute of it. And Lagia, on the other hand, has been just like, I'm forcing the issue mm -hmm. every time, bro. Sure, yeah, yeah. And like, um, not to take anything away from his defense either, because he was able to yeah, stop. Yeah, been good. Yeah, also. he was able to stop Shao Hai from getting anything started in that yeah. last set, right? It it's was kind of like a hybrid of like what M Dash was doing and what he was creating on his own. Yeah, it felt it felt like he was really just he's reached the pinnacle. He's playing perfect textbook KOF at the moment. And most importantly, out of everything right now, the equation is one of these gentlemen will be crowned SWC 2023 World Champion here tonight in this few. Sh I mean. Well, depending on how long this takes, because the KOF Grand Finals, we know how long those can go. <laughs> it's entirely possible. I it won't is. put a number on it. <laughs> but after that's over, one of these gentlemen will be your champion. Give it up for him, guys. Grand Finals about to go down. All right, we've got M Dash, though. He's looking to two Pete, right? The, again, the only former SNK world champion um, for KOF, and that was back in the in 14th this scenario, days, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, this would mean a lot, I think, to him to get that that crown in the in the 15 as well. You know, I, I think that's also a big statement. Yeah, man, that's definitely like, uh, you know, the man comes alive in esports brackets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's like um, M Dash. Like everybody knows he's good, but like personally, I I didn't have him. Um, I don't, I don't think position. a lot of people did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not, and like his performances have always been super impressive. But right. again, you know, it's usually like I mean, we literally saw two years of Shao Hai just dominating everything. Exactly. So it's, 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 <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, kudos to him. He's in the winner's side right now. He's he, he really shut us all up. Here we go, man. Like, hey, and once again, the senpai and the kohai Student couldn't ask master. for a better ending to the story, you know? That's true. That's true. Round one. All right. East versus Yashiro. We've been talking about this matchup a lot, and uh, Lagi has been playing it a lot, so I'm sure he's used to it. M Dash, maybe not as much because he's, you know, he's on the geese side. That's the more common character. That's how these things go. But they they train so much together. Whoa. I imagine that there's going to be a comfort level here uh, between the both of them. That is absolutely true. But all that matters is who's the better player on this day. In the moment, yeah. That is right. Oh no, ex. Both these guys filling each other out, man. Oh, M Dash gets the big hit early. That's He's gonna right. probably get one more little bit of damage and then back it up as we've seen him do the entire weekend. Has the corner opts to back up. Yep, now we're rolling back. Say, so, hey, okay. Chill yep. out. Forcing the Yashiro approach, but okay, finds the hit. Nice block, blocks out the frame trap. Mm, probably looking for a command counter eventually because there is a lot of jump-ins coming from Yashiro's side. <gasps> the counter DP. Oh, man, OTG. That was the first time M Dash pressed forward in, like, the past 20 seconds, and Lagia was still ready for it with the DP. He's like, I know it's, it's burning a hole in your brain right now. You want to press some buttons. Nice. The check on the approach. Ooh, super. Not enough to kill just yet. Oh, he's going to hang back. Wow, that'll do it. He just steals it away. M Dash got a little antsy and started moving around and runs right into the dash punch from Lagia. Incredible. M Dash now down to the Benny Maru. Doesn't have oh. much left to do, but you know, you can't count. Oh, wait a minute. He might hold on. Oh, no, that close beast steals the deal. He's going to get the bar back from uh, for, for Rio, who has been in a menace. In the, uh, the semifinal situation. Dude, seriously. I mean, watching that, the way he picked apart Shahai's offense, it was just absurd. Mm -hmm. I expect to see uh, Stan C turn into EFC Pukaku pretty often here. <gasps> not not Crouch A, though. He's gotten a couple of those and just let him go. That's true. Nice down C. He's so ready. Everything. This might be a habitual thing. You know, he always sees uh, M Dash quite off. Ooh! Look at this defense, though. It's crazy. Nice. Okay. Catches him out of the air. Still a lot of work to do on the bottom side. You Take. cannot steal turns on this man. And a great air-to-air -air conversion. Look how much meter he got, too, man. I, you better believe. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, he needs this. He needs to get the offense going. He needs oh, to get these knockdowns. No, he, I, I don't know if he meant to not spend that meter in that situation, but he's paying for it, not doing it now. Loggy playing so patiently. 
Uh, forcing the issue right now, actually. M dash, no, uh, no responses. He's not ready to defend after being on the offensive for so long. Might be wanting to hold on to those three bars because he's totally aware of the life deficit. Gets a significant hit, maybe. He's like, okay, I dumped maybe one or two. Nice. And you see again, Logia now on the. He's backing up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now he's forcing the issue. Oh, Smells yeah. blood in the water, finds the low. 15 seconds on the clock, and still a decent amount of life on the Rio side. So even if not a lot of life coming back from the uh, the clock, uh, that's still a pretty healthy Rio. Yeah, and all it takes is one, two touches from this character to take like so much damage on your on on the last character that you have. You know, mm -hmm. she, the Isla may have four bars, but the, I tell you, the Rio with three bars is a menace. It's exactly. Scary. And also, I mean, it's been so difficult for M Dash to get in and even touch this uh, the Rio. All right, touching them now, man, all over the place. Upside yeah. down, right side front. Ooh. Bites out of the corner, though. And this is, again, you don't want to go back to neutral against nah, this guy, dude. No, you don't, because he's got that forward B, and he don't want to get caught by that. No. It's an ESG Pukaku okay. anywhere on the screen. Yo, four bars on real side. Hold Look on at a him. second. That. What was that? Uh, you don't think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Great DP into throw. We got a setup coming. Bends the bar to get out of it. Oh, man, this is not looking good for... Oh, he finally confirms off the low way. He had to double with the bubble pump it, though. Where are we going from here? I think he's going to spend it all right here. M Dash now down to less than 100 health. Ooh, almost enough. This is looking all but over for him. Out Lagia looking so good, so clean. Impenetrable defense at the moment. Look, he's just... He's not phased by anything. He's also aware this is all safe pressure, so he's like, all right, you better... <sighs> not a lot of life coming back from the Isla, though. That is true, but you know what? He's still in it. It's It don't matter until the final hit. If you can't touch the Isla and she can touch you and she got almost three bars, that's just as well that she might as well have full. Oh, okay, get her out of here. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, notice that uh, M Dash was kind of starting to overextend a bit, getting a little too desperate for the offense, and Lagia, uh, brave mash out of the situation. Might have already been thinking about the next game. You know, sometimes it gets that bad, and you're just like, okay, well, somehow I'm still in the final round, but sure. I got nothing to my name, so let's see what, can make, what we can make happen. It's entirely possible, yeah. But you know, that wasn't so bad. The thing is, though, that Rio, uh, Lagia's Rio, is, it's so, so defensive. It's like, how do you get in on him? How do you get a clean hit? It seems almost impossible. He sticks out the right buttons at the right times, at the right ranges. He's playing perfectly at the moment. And he's really built around that, you know? And I think Lagia's like, not only what you see with Yashiro, but with Rio, you see that he's really maximizing the, the potential of those uh, options that he has available to, with those characters. Um, that jumping A has been the bane of everyone's existence that Loggy has run across. <laughs> Yo, the far C on Rio has absolutely stuffed everyone's momentum. That's true. That's true. And, and Shiro's far C ain't that bad either. No, honestly. not at all. Not at all. M Dash trying to play at that range, that that perfect hop range, right? He'll take trades from now on too. Yeah, absolutely. This is all, such like a grindy uh, matchup between these two because they're both pretty lame players. You know, they both want to have the life lead. They both want to force you to approach and stop them. Yeah, I think they both. Yeah, they kind of play the same way. When the life lead gets pretty significant, they're like, okay, it's time for me to uh, play the clock. Yeah, they play very, very safely. Don't take that much risk. Okay, big hop in, goes unchecked by M Dash, and he's gonna pay for it. Mm, OTG. Oh, no, couldn't get the stance you need to hit, unfortunate. That's right. Nice. Oh, M Dash working on something. We're okay. back to mid screen. The nice. beautiful whiff punish, and Loggy is going to take this first round yet again. M Dash is kind of on the back foot this time. That last time they played, it was a clean 2 0 for him. I think M Dash is getting hit by his own technique at this point, man. Loggy might be coming hot off of the momentum from the Losers Finals match that he just Whoa! had to play. Wow! That is significant. All right, has the corner again. Oh, oh no, messed up. Yeah, okay, M Dash really needed this, man. But again, yo, the Rio is about to come to play. Yeah, with two bars. Oh, oh my man. gosh. How I mean, it's it? relatively even on life right now, so it's okay for M Dash right now, but he's probably going to not want to get too close. Sure, sure. But, like, again, how, you can't do damage without getting close, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You ain't gonna, well, you can throw EX uh, Slash, but that's about it. Yeah, but, like, how many of those he's got? He's got six, right? And even if he gets hit by all six, that's not that much damage. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past M Dash to just try to get one of them, you know? Sure, sure, sure. And then run away for, like, 20 minutes. Okay, runs right into the EX, right, Jinkin? Benny Morrow saying, I can put up a wall, too. Yeah, Benny Morrow definitely one of those characters that can play a little bit like Rio, where, like, you just feel like you can't go anywhere, especially in the corner. Exactly, yeah. But so far, I think Loggy has been kind of better at it than I'm Dash. I, that's been a story. Oh, my Lord, the Ford B coming out. 
look at it, the, he's just so content to block things out, man. He's just, his defense, his risk reward analysis. All right, all right, yeah, no, get hit. All right, M Dash finally up in momentum here, but he's had to really like dig deep for this stuff, man. Yeah, seriously, it almost <laughs> it feels kind of lucky almost. Yeah, the fact I, he's getting the first round, definitely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Lagia though, the Sylvie coming to play. We didn't see much of her yet in the set. Had an opportunity for activation there, but uh, Lagia did not take it. Oh, too high. Yeah, it's too high indeed. Nice roll out, using all the correct options at the right times. It's an uncanny. Yeah, look how fast she runs too, man. High mobility character. Yeah, it's, uh, one of the fastest behind like Chris, I think. Oof. And she's tiny. That's Oof. right. Oh, thank you. Oh, big trade there. Could have been something. Wow, oh. just knew. He just knew and gets the OTG. So that was like, okay, I did the D version. If he blocks it, I'm plus anyway. That's so. right. And went for the chip out. Great stuff. Lagia keeping it very textbook. He's got four bars to work with against M Dash's anchor. This is going to be huge. You do not want to go down 2 0 in this grand finals set. Oh, man. Oh, the jump D hit early. And again, like, uh, you see, M Dash, he doesn't seem to know how to approach, really. I mean, it's just he, all he does is he looks for the safe hops. Or maybe he's trying to get Lagia to do something drastic. It's possible. But it's not happening. No, I'll, he's, both these players are trying to keep it so compact. Ooh. Okay, nice, finds an opening. He needed this. Yes, man. sir. He still has two bars after this as well, plus the setup after the hard knockdown. What do we got? Days in front. Too high. It might have been might have been too late to confirm off that. He might have been thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna get him to block and then run, like maybe run up, take throw. Yeah, it's possible he didn't expect it to hit. Yeah, because he didn't even try to hit a button afterwards. Oh, nice. Finds the jump God. in and this could be it. Lagia, we're looking I at a 2-0 so, against M Dash. So. Wow, dude. Lagia having the tournament of his life right now. That is correct. This man, he is looking unstoppable after that loss he took earlier to this very same man, M Dash. He has, it looks like he's kind of unlocked his potential, you know? And to make the adjustment and go through the loser's run that he did and then apply that adjustment yeah. in the grand finals, yeah. man. Incredible. Something, yeah, like that, that is, that is something beyond what most humans are capable of, I believe. Dare I say champion material? I would say so. We shall see. I mean, he's still in the loser side. Even if he wins this set, he still has to win in another set, and that is a tall order. We were talking about how much M uh, sorry, Lagia was able to adjust, but M Dash, he, he's not just like sitting there for no reason. He is a capable of doing the very same thing. Yeah, he put it on a stomping that, unlike any I'd ever seen done to Shao Hai, so. Nice, the down D to start things up. You're going to see them fighting at this range quite a bit. Where does the adjustment come from, like, M Dash here, though? Because it feels like his game plan has just been getting destroyed. <sighs> yeah, it really he's does. He's so committed to it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's been working. It's brought him this far. I mean, yeah, it's definitely been great. But, you know, there comes a time where, like, you know, you've got to play the player. Yeah, Loggy is simply, I think, out executing him at the moment. I, I think that's what it is, too. All right, but so far, M Dash is coming up ahead in these nickel and dime situations. Yeah, right now, and I think Lagia was really just giving him free damage there because it wasn't like that. Oh, and a big punish on the whip uh, stand C. It wasn't even complicated setup, so he was just throwing fireballs. Nice. Okay, M Dash taking this first character very convincingly. He really needs this if he wants to stop the momentum that's so heavily favoring Lagia. I tell you though, if this goes to if this goes to reset and not just any re oh the far C to E X C Bukaku. Yeah, he's he's money with that right now. Nice, and again, he's so ready for these cross-up attempts. I don't think he's been crossed up more. Wow. Oh my goodness, wow. this man is on fire. Oh my lord. Try to go for the empty jump. Just runs right into the stand A. Wow, Loggy again, the wall. He just puts it up, and people just run into it. You can't help it. I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling the frustration here if I'm M-Dash. Because that first round was so good. No, you can definitely tell when people are are getting to, uh, frustrated, they start taking all these risks and such. Like, because they need to, right? They feel like they need to. Yeah, just to, like, keep the momentum up. Exactly. Oh, my uh, gosh. Again. Yo, what the? Uh, this this guy, guy is so good at that. Yes, far C. And you need to be. That's the difference between being okay at this game and being the best. His, his DPs are on point. His hit confirms are on point. What do you do? His spacing is perfect, and his game planning is just immaculate. Like, this man is playing perfectly at the moment, I swear. 
no drop confirms, even if it's the minimal two touch. All right, good block. Again. Oh, oh he my challenged gosh. that. Man, that is, that's a dead mini. Oh, yes. Dude, Lagia on the verge of resetting this grand final set against M Dash. This guy, he really wants Dog. it, man. He's playing like he wants it. I know, I'm tripping. I get hit by that setup all the time, too. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, M Dash, what's going on, bro? Come on. <laughs> Hey man, sometimes you just gotta you gotta try to move. He you was know? so patient before. Though, he was, man. but you know what? It's because of the the, the suffocating the, the pressure, the pressure. Yeah, the yeah. suffocating play style. He feels like he needs to do something. You got this cold high on my back right now. That's right. Trying to do me dirty. All right. Oh wow, that was a big opportunity, but M Dash, uh, rare uh, missed opportunity there. Again, playing so mm. far back, he's just not forcing anything. Forcing the Isla to come to him. Ooh. Nice standy. Nice, All okay, right. keeps it safe, keeps it safe. That's the best round that M Dash could ask for there. That's right, yeah, Lagia got a little too greedy there, trying to extend his turn after the minus frames, but you know what? Uh, M Dash was ready for Sometimes it. Sometimes you get up two games, you're like, hey, let's play around a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the Sylvie going up against the Isla now. You see right now, M Dash looking a little eager to make something happen here, and Lagia the complete opposite, despite the way he's been playing this entire time. Yeah, but you know what? He's got the corner. He's gonna try to. Oh, oh my goodness! Back dash and a DP. That's a pretty common uh, trait among. Uh, dog. No punish either. He had the read. I, I, That's bananas. Lagia, he's looking kind of nervous at the moment. Bologna. Okay. That didn't even touch her. <laughs> you're you're kidding me, bro. No, oh wow! Okay, Yo, finds it anyway. Oh my God! Is that enough? Is that enough? I believe so. I mean, he's gonna go straight into climax oh, here. Oh, oh my God! The Denji beam. <laughs> I'm not Denji. saying nothing. And that'll do it. I mean, Lagia looking like he is one step closer to taking this, resetting the bracket on M Dash in convincing fashion. Aru, these are the kind of events that we talk about for years to come. Uh, this Grand Finals match is absolutely delivering. Um, regardless of who's partaking in it, the, the level of play, the decision making, and the, just the raw action, the visceral, or the visceralness of the raw action is just unmatched. It's incredible, really. I mean, like, uh, we, were, we were talking so much about, like, Shahai, but, like, both these guys, they prove that this is their story tonight. You yeah, know what no, I mean? Yeah, they're definitely trying to write this book. Exactly, exactly. And both these guys, they really want it, but Lagi is looking unstoppable. I don't know. M Dash, he, he, he has some time to think about it, you know? He doesn't need to jump right back into it, but you know what? That's exactly what they seem to be doing. These are like two players that are never really out of your conversation for best KOF player in the world. That's but true. Like, the way they're playing right now is just like absolutely put these guys in the history books. They look untouchable, but at the moment, Lagi is looking a little bit more so. Yeah, man, Lagia right now just saying, hey, man, you got to make me do something. You got to make me jump. Nice DP. You're going to keep giving me these openings. I'm going to take them every time. I'm on that young man energy. That's right. Look at this. They, they just sit there. They're, like, content to just stand there at particular spacing, more so than almost any other KOF player that I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't seen. think I've seen anyone that patient from that distance before. Right. It almost feels like I'm they're trolling each other. <laughs> it almost does. But that just goes to show how much they respect each other's neutral, you know? Yeah, and, and this is what I was expecting from this matchup. They're definitely a, it's a, a case of the players playing the player. This is not Kings versus Yashiro. This is Lagia versus M Dash. That's right. All the way. Nice. Okay, again, punishing the recovery on that whiffed uh, heavy normal. M Dash, he needs to get this man. He's and he hasn't had anything go his way really this entire uh, the last grand final set. And I'm, I'm, M Dash, I'm feeling. I got to be exhausted, man. Oh, all that work, bro. Big damage, yeah. All that work. Equalized in an instant, and now has to guess for his life. Okay, Ooh, good great. Good challenge. Good challenge. Yeah, seriously, but that obviously he he spent a little more meter than he needed to. He's trying to hold on to it, right? He is, he should have been trying to hold on to it, but you know that's how shook he is. He's not doing the optimal stuff. Hey, man, you know, that's something that he has to think about later on. Just get the kill in the immediate moment, you know? Sure, sure, yeah. All right, Lagia. The Rio that we've been talking up so much, you know? Yeah, that far C is just, it's present. Yeah, and you see, he's just, M Dash, he wants to avoid that spacing where that's a threat at all costs. Wait, 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 okay. Oh. You see, he just walked right back out of it. He's, he's like, scared. Nah, he's so that, scared. Buddy. He's like, ah, uh ah. -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> 
And you saw him again. You he stuck it out there. I think he might have been thinking I'll sweep underneath the far C if he throws it out. But man, Cal, can you read it? No, yeah, I don't he think did. So. He tried that time. Okay, dude, he's like, okay, let me disengage. I don't want to be there yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. No parts of that do I want. Uh -oh. oh. Nice. Okay, the punish. Beautifully done. M Dash looking so clean right now. Now, Sylvie going to come in with like max meter, most likely. Yeah. Unless this Ryo can make something happen right now. Hey, keeping it very safe. Got him. Jumps right into the EX Fireball. And now this is dangerous. Well, he has no more really space dangerous. to give. Yeah, that's right. Wow, okay, catches the, far the startup of a fireball, I believe. M Dash looking really good all of a sudden in this grand finals reset. M Dash trying to tell him, like, look, Lag, yeah, I have enjoyed your progress thus far, but this is still my story. I'm not done writing it yet. That is true. Now we got Sylvie. She's got almost five bars. This is entirely possible still, especially the way Lagi has been playing, but M Dash is looking like a reborn uh, after this reset. Oh, absolutely, man. Uh, she's got so much meter, she can definitely dump damage, but I think it's going to go to the first two characters, and then maybe the last one, she'll have to figure out, you know, what to do with some gum and bubble wrap. Yeah, exactly. MacGyver that, you know? Exactly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you see M Dash, he's just playing so lame. Timer below mm, 42 seconds. That's a big win already for you him. You know, he wishes he had two bars for that. Oh, oh, no doubt. Okay. So that is a very expensive confirm. Two bars just to do a little under 200 damage. Oh, I forgot where the clock was at, but he was probably looking at that thing and like, hey, get the kill now, get a decent amount of life. Yep. Like, we got three bars. We can fight Mini Mar with three bars. Yes, you it's, know? it's doable. She can still build meter for herself, but it's going to be that much harder, the fact that he used two bars instead mm. of just half a bar, you know? Yeah, because what you going to have for the Isla, possibly? Exactly. And Isla is not a character that you uh, can kill for cheap. Mm -mm. No DP there. Safe on block. Wow, okay, finds the jump in. M Dash. Let's see how much he spends here. Spends all of it. He wants to put her on her back. Corner is available. No E idle kick. Whoa! And just like that, M Dash has turned around the momentum. That's first right. up in the reset. That's right. Signs of life from M Dash, man. That last set was looking dire for him, but he has managed to turn it around and take the first game in this reset. Lagia now. The ball's in his court. Homie stays hydrated. Yeah, look, he's I mean he's got a lot to think about, you know. I'd take a lap around the venue, honestly. Seriously, man. That's definitely right? one thing. Like, how did this get away from me? Let's go outside real quick. <laughs> seriously, seriously. All right, okay. He nodded to himself. He must have come to some sort of conclusion. I don't know, man. Sometimes I be seeing cats nod in the middle of the match. Like, you don't understand what's going on. You get <laughs> you getting your butt beat. You know what? I am definitely guilty of that he's myself. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. He's he's killing me right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, acknowledging <laughs> that he did something something absurdly good and like you're just dying to it. All right, though, it looks like they hit the rematch. We were loading into the game. Again, 1-0 on M Dash's side. Grand Finals reset in SWC 2023 Grand Finals. Now, Lagia makes the adjustment here. He ends up taking the first couple of rounds. I'm going to be scared for M Dash, man, because I know M Dash did not want Lagia to smell any kind of blood coming into this reset at any point. Absolutely not. All right, M Dash backing himself into a corner. Really leaning on those Rebukins right now. He challenged wow. that, that. That's crazy. Dude. He's been doing a lot of challenging on the Yashiro uh, frame trap attempts, and it's not been really working out for him. What would Geese even challenge there? I'm not sure. Like maybe go for command counter? Or maybe, I don't know, maybe like a stand B or something to stick out a hitbox. Mm. But either way, I think we're going to see M Dash again try to play this matchup at this spacing that he's so comfortable playing at. Even with the life deficit. Oh, never mind. Uh oh, yeah. Lagia closing the distance instantly. Yeah, 30 seconds left on the clock. He's going to need a lot of life back, and Lagi is looking unstoppable yet again. You know, you say what you want about Yashiro's play style, but effective? Uh, oh, yeah. Explosive, explosive is the word I would effective, use. Explosive, you know, great at many ranges. Nice. Deceptively far-reaching. All right, we got Benny Morrow now back in the corner. He's trying to stick out those EXRI Jenkins. Every time you see that, they're just fishing for a big random combo starter. Mm. You know, M Dash would not press a button on that block string again. That's for darn no, sir. sure. Oh, a little too high for the combo. Lucky break there for Lagia. All right, has him in the corner. Now Lagia's turn to get things started. Nice containment yet again. Every time M Dash has gotten cornered, he tries to jump out, and Lagia's always ready for it. Oh, he got him that time, but he there went for the sweep is. instead. Oh, high percentage maneuver. Yeah, you can't jump over him like that. <gasps> Perfectly spaced neutral jump. This is going to do a lot of damage should he choose to spend. And yes, he does. DP? Yes, sir. And M Dash taking the first character out. Some signs of life yet again. Loving the decision making there on M Dash's part. Great space, great position uh, on his positioning on his part. Yeah. Uh, didn't spend a lot of meter there. 
and did it fast enough to get a decent amount of life back here. But the Rio, so much meter on the Rio side, and the far seas converting into EX Chibukyaku. Oh, man. Absolutely, yeah. Both these players, I feel like their neutral jumps at certain spacings need to be studied because they're so good at reading when people are going to do those forward advancing moves that are really difficult to deal with normally. Mm. But they call it out and they punish him immaculately. Yeah, and I think Rio's definitely one of those characters that does it the best. Sure. All right, M Dash now on the back foot yet again, sticking out yet another EX Rai Jinken. He's, I feel like he's getting a little desperate. I mean, there was no movement there to react to. I mean, it's a pretty buff move. I can't touch any part. Oh, no! Speaking of buff moves, though. Yeah, that's going to be it for Benny Morrow. And so much life coming back. M Dash, for, man. For, for, or Lagia's Rio, man. Wow. M Dash down to the Isla. Lagia, again, that Rio looking unstoppable, like a wall that you just cannot cross. Still got to, like, cut up two characters, too. Ugh. Oh, I don't think he wanted the guard cancel that. What you got for him? What you got for him? M Dash is bailing out already. Oh, man. Oh he bailed so out and went into the worst possible situation. Dude, he's playing Rio perfectly at the moment, I swear. Everything he does is just perfect textbook KOF. It's, it's uncanny. It's almost like, dude, you gave a character like this to Lagia who just perfectly executes everything. <laughs> he's going to turn every hit to Ian's on, Red Rons on Redskin. Yeah, we're seeing absolute peak KOF here, and I am just loving every moment of it. M Dash has the corner now. His turn Whoa. to start some pressure. Nice containment with the jump back. C finds the opening. And that should be it for Rio, but look at the damage done nonetheless. Okay, opts to use this route, but mm. doesn't complete. Uh, gotta spend all that meter. Gotta be careful, man. You might. End oh, that could have been a big activation. Nice tech, nice tech. Still in control of this round, but no. Back in okay. Oh, wait, Bru too far. Bro, <laughs> I'm losing my mind here. I am too. Okay. Wow, that was kind of risky. Had had Lucky blocked that, I believe that was high enough for him to have punished. Yeah, because he did uh, uh, during the ascent. He did the jump C, right. so he would have been a vulnerable landing. Lagia now, down to the Sylvie. Two and a half bars to work with. M Dash, this is still anyone's game. Safe on block. No, no check on that hop there. And mm -mm. yeah, Sylvie got a pretty good DP as long as there's enough real estate in front of her. Oh, goes for the jump D to interrupt. Oh, no chase. He actually, he read a roll, but he went the other direction. Mm. Oh, try to go for, go, go for the low B there. Nice DP that time, ready. M Dash got, oh, no activation again. M Dash is, he wants out of the corner so badly. There oh, it my. is. And Lagia on the board in the grand final reset, man. 1-1. One, one. Sheesh. We got ourselves a match after the consecutive three O's that we've seen in the past couple of sets. Both these guys, man, they're playing out of their minds. Yeah, it's it so is. hard to call, man, because they both they, they play perfectly. I mean, almost no mistakes either this, way. This, this top eight has been some of the best KOF 15 I've ever seen these two guys play. Yeah, yeah, seriously. They, I mean, like, they're playing this uh, this patch, like, to perfection, to absolute yeah, perfection. definitely. Amazing. Aspirational level of play on display here. Once again, it looks like M Dash might be leaning on his Rapukins early on in this round. And even if this round goes in M Dash's way, I feel like Lagia has such a beat on his habits once the Rio comes out that yeah. it just becomes dangerous to play the game. It sure is, yeah. Okay, finds a big jump in. M Dash really needs this, has Lagia in the corner now, but so far he hasn't really been that successful at cracking him when he's in the corner. Oof. And yet again, we're seeing it. Uh, Lagia fights his way out of the corner with little trouble. Uh-oh, yeah. now it's his turn to put on the corner pressure. And every time, like I mentioned before, M Dash likes to try to jump out of the corner whenever he sees like he has space. Oh, he tried to do it there too. Looks like it. He thought the string was over. He's like, come on. Nice. Using the, oh wait, no, but he didn't kill him there. Down C again, ready. Oh, what a jump! Wow. Persistence beats resistance, I suppose. M Dash with the hop D going over Lagia's sweep attempt, I believe it was, and taking that first turn, kind of stealing it, I got to say. Well, you said he kept trying to jump out of the corner, and there he goes. The big sweep came out, but no, nobody home. Yeah, I mean, Lagia must have thought that he had conditioned him to sit still after that big stand CD hit, but no. Nem Dash is unconditionable. Mm -mm. Lagia evens that up, but you got to feel like M Dash made a statement there saying, hey, I'm definitely looking for that sweep. You better cut it out. That's right, yeah. That's actually big in this matchup, too, because Rio's love the sweep. That's true. It's one of his best low protects, you know? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, speaking of sweeps. That's though. a six frame, right? Right. I think so. 
Oh no, uh, conversion. Whoa, wow. On the front side? But wasn't ready. A rare mistake, actually, from Lagia. Yeah, I don't think he expected that to hit from the front side either. Maybe there was a micro step on him dash side. Yeah, I mean, every game comes closer to crowning the champion. Both these guys must be feeling the nerves, I'm sure. Oh, dude, yeah, there's definitely going to be nothing left on the, in the tank after this. Nice down C. Whoa, wow. it was a little early on the down C, and he yeah. got the full jump in. Yeah, and unfortunately catches the uh, extended hurt box. Wait, what a brave mesh and a great conversion. Loggy is, again, his hit confirms are so on point at the moment. He goes for the level two. Is this going to be enough? Almost. Wanted to hold on to a bar in case he... Oh, my God. The patience on M Dash's part to wait for his opportunity. Again, stealing the victory. He is inches away from defeat every single time, but he just manages to inch it out. I don't know how he does it. This man is so clutch. And with that much life left, too? Gotta be sweating bullets. For sure. Lagia now. The Sylvie trying to find an opening. He said, wake up, DP. I'm up a character. Let's see what, what shakes out. That's right. Give me the opportunity again. No DP that time, though. Mm, Could have challenged it. Oh! So I like what he was going for there, because like, he knows that Lagia knows that he's plus, and he's like, you got to right, press a button here. So right. let's see what you got. Yeah, but good patience, though, from Lagia. Not overextending into the DP. And now we're going to see an even match as a result. Mm, looking for the Yashibari Taiku. Wow. Rare DP from uh, the Isla there. That's right. Always risky. Whoa! Caught him with the low. Did he try to do jump deep? I'm not sure. But either way, I didn't see the punish uh, indicator. Mm, so he just landed on it. That's right. Oof. Uh-oh. Isla, over. this is where he wants to be. Oh, that's big! I think this is it, Hellpockets. Oh, yeah, that's... Well, I don't know, man. I've yeah. been fooled by this climax before, but I think you're right. Hold on, we shall Either see. Either way, oh, oh right. just a pixel left. Bruh, wait, bruh. wait, 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 wait. Okay, so he's got a bar left. M dash, in danger. Wake up super. Oh, oh okay. that would work too. Uh, seriously. All right, Sylvie. Uh, very, very dangerous leaving a Sylvie alive like that with a bar. But you know what? M dash manages to clutch it out in M dash fashion. I mean, like I said, every single round. It came down to the wire. Dude, these guys got to be going through it right now. Yeah, neck and neck. These guys are pushing each other to the absolute limit. Got to drink that water, man. Keep it up. All right. I think they're thinking about Oh, no, no. You know what? They're loading into the rematch. Loading into the rematch, and he was hitting some buttons with authority there for a second. Mm. Got to make sure they work. Hey, I, I respect it, you know. 2-1 now. M Dash one game away from being crowned the champion. Oh, hops over that Shipukin just barely. Looking for that opening. Oh, oh my goodness. You see how he just worked his way into M Dash's zone like that? He's That's like, right. you're gonna try to zone me out with a Shipukin? That's gonna push you back to the corner. That's giving me the real estate I want to just inch in. Mm-hmm. And yeah, again, <laughs> we see the spacing so often, and they both like to stand here a lot, so mm -hmm. no stranger to this. I'm starting to think that uh, Lagia liked this matchup quite a bit. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's clearly very used to it, right? Yeah. Nice, okay, finds his way in. Okay, but a big trade oh. into an overhead, and now it's his turn to put on some pressure. The guard gauge at half now for, uh, for M Dash. He's gonna build the bar. Is he gonna spend? No, he's not. He's gonna kill on the next hit. <laughs> Big jump over the fireball, but a little too far for that to connect. Doesn't matter with punish. That's the second time that situation's happened where he gets one jump in and doesn't get to confirm, but then immediately goes for the hop A and like M dash or Shao Hai in the previous case mm. was like, I'm just gonna stick something out because you missed your combo and the A just goes right over that. Right, right. Nice air to air. All right, Lagia now. He's, I'm sure he's content to take these trades. Has the corner now, putting on the pressure. Again, checking a jump, but a great Yaido kick from M dash. You gotta get one more touch to make this significant. Man, he just doesn't care. He's no, like, he yeah, doesn't. you just did all that damage, but whatever, dude. What are you gonna do about this pressure? All right, had to spend the bar to get out. That's actually, uh, he doesn't spend the bar on the guard cancels that Bro. often. Wow, from downtown and the big confirm into big damage and a hard knockdown to boot. They have been going back and forth the entire grand finals right now. This is looking like the same. Might nice, get rid okay. of the Yashiro here. Very tricky situation, and Lagia is not immune to those himself. 
Now we got the Rio coming in, but he did so much damage to the Benny Morrow before. He's got to be feeling pretty good. I think one B and B is probably going to do it if he lands even off a low B. Wow, the far C. Yeah, that's it for Benny Morrow and Lagia up quite a bit going into the anchor round on M Dash's side. Yeah, man, and we were we've been talking so much about how how oppressive this this Rio defense is and. How do you even like get all these hits to make this comeback? He's just gonna lame you out and burn that time. Yep, just gonna back it up, and you're probably gonna try to double jump and bait a DP, but you're not gonna land in time to punish it. <gasps> Whoa! Wait a minute, that's how it starts. All right, gets the hard knockdown here. He's uh, a little out of the corner. It looks like. Oh, that now oh, he's no, definitely out of the corner. Yeah, definitely had an opportunity for an activation there, but didn't choose to take it. Yeah, Lagia looking a little gun shy on defense at the moment. Looking a little desperate, maybe? Mm, man, that was scary. Just running up like that for the low B. We have seen Lagia check no that with a low A. That looked like a free DP to me, but M Dash, that just goes to show how how much he's focusing on the ground game at the moment. Oh, wow! Got him just barely! Finds the cross up. And chases the roll backward. That was looking a, a potentially dangerous, letting him reset to neutral like that, but great composure from M Dash. And now he is threatening the, the, the grand point? final. The game end, point, the tournament baby. point. Well, once again, this is a three-bar Isla. I mean, or rather, three-bar Alagia uh, Sylvie. That's right. Oh, no activation, though. Wants to hold on to it. No DP. Trying oh, oh, no, can't gosh. take too many more Yo, of those. Three in a row? Are you serious? He wasn't even challenging any one of them. All right, but again, back to neutral. So we've seen at neutral so frequently. Ooh, he wanted the opening there so bad. Both yes. so patient right now. They know how much is on the line. They're playing so nice. Gets the command grab into pretty consistent damage here. This is great positioning for Lagia. That's gonna be okay. Nice down C check. Out of the corner now. Yeah, you wanna go? Oh man, that's. But oh, he drops the combo. That's rough, man. That's he, a lot of resources. He just gone. wasted two bars. You're right. <laughs> and then M totally content just to hang back. Neither one wants to be the one to approach first. The clock is screaming right now. Y'all gotta play. Finds oh, the opening with the down B, boy. but not quite enough yet. M Dash still has a chance to take this and end the tournament Final right here. Game imminent, a room. I wouldn't have it any other way, man. Oh. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's not a KOF tournament without final game after the bracket reset, and I wouldn't have it any other way, just like you said. Look at the crowd, man. All these KOF lovers in the crowd. Love to see it, man. Mm -hmm. Glad you could all join us. What a set it has been, man. All right. So they're just going right back into it. They, they don't feel like they don't have to there's think no that much Dude, about they're it. They're playing so well, like, there's no deviation. They're this just is locked in. They're locked in. They're like, I've been thinking about this matchup for the longest time. I already know what I'm about to do. I'm just going to do it. I bet you they're just like, dude, are you in gear five yet? Because I've been in gear five for the last <laughs> two games. Come on, dude. That's definitely what it feels like, man. <laughs> All right. What's, this is the final game of the SWC 2023. Who is going to be the champion? I don't know, man. There's only one way to find out right now, man. They are, there's no more do-overs. And I imagine that this will either be the most uh, reserved match or it could be the most aggressive from both of them. Absolutely. Down C, keeping him in the corner. Again, M Dash, his, his corner defense has not been that uh, his strength mm -mm. in this set. You know, we're not seeing a lot from the, uh, specifically the geese, you know, like the geese uh, on M Dash's oh, side. Great whiff punish, but a little too far for the combo. Yeah. Oh, man, that jump A is doing so much work. So it's incredible. Active. Nice, okay, blocks the down C. Ooh, where are you going, baby? Go antsy in the corner again. He's just undeterred from hopping. Nice, finds the opening here. Fights out of the corner, but again, he needs to find an opening for real and start his own offense. Just punched the fireball, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice, okay, here it is. Here's his chance. M Dash finally in the driver's seat. Oh, he had an opening there, but he gave up on it. M Dash looking to two peat the SWC champion. I don't know if he can do it, man. Alagi is looking so, so clean at the moment. Once again, I say these gentlemen take forever to do anything, and this round is no exception. Finds the throw, puts on the pressure, good defense so far from Lagia, and now a disengage. Coming down to the wire of the first round, no punish! No punish! Oh my lord. M Dash, what in the world? He is just letting everything slip through his fingers right now. Buddy is looking shook, not stirred. M Dash down to the Benny Maru. Lagia taking an early game in this final game of the SWC. Dog! He's so good with these cross cuts. Yeah, I'm uh, 
I'm, I would be scared to set up a jump, a cross up against this guy at this point, man. Same, same. Probably just reverse DPing everything. No. Nice. Where are you going? Keeping him in the corner now. Okay, that, again, he tries to hop out, but this time Lockheed was not ready for it. Wow, catches the startup of EX right, Jinken. Hard knockdown into OTG, into setup. What we got? You gotta believe M Dash is thinking, like, I thought I was safe to throw a fireball there. I'm just trying to play the game, brother. Great pokes coming out from Lagia, and again, look at how controlling he's being. M Dash just doesn't seem to be able to get anything started. Look at this. So that's how you feel? He's just being suffocated right now. Absolutely. Nah, you can't do that. Dude, he already told you he's, once. He's so desperate. He's just throwing those out there right now. Okay, nice. Okay, okay, the EXPP finally, finally gets this Yashiro out of there. But wow, Lagia put himself at such an advantage. And that Rio comes in with so much resources. So many resources. Okay. Trade again. What's he got for him? Oh! Doesn't get the cancel early enough, though. We get a little B on Benny Morrow's side. That might be the, the momentum shift that M Dash needs to make this look doable. Look how he's playing Ooh, so gun shy. Just step into it, right? It's like, please just step into the <laughs> EX Rising. I'm begging you. Oh my gosh. And he just gets hopped on. Logia now, a tournament point of the SWC World Finals. This is the kind of weekend he needed, man. He's going to have the biggest tournament of his life potentially here. The Rio. Trying to look at this, Isla. You normally see Isla just jumping around on people all day, but, oh, not, but you, you know, see, he can't do it. you he see that? He can't defense, do it. His defense is too perfect, bro. Oh, run up throw. Okay. Yeah, he needs to. He, I mean, that's the only damage he's really getting, right? Nothing significant outside of that. You're correct. Make him spend some meter though. Yeah. Not a bad plan. Oh, he oh, came he, up on it! He didn't believe in it. He didn't believe. All the hits are so few and far between, he's just not ready for them. Yeah, he's definitely off his game right now. Oh my gosh, great DP though from Lagia. Lagia on tournament point again. Half a bar left on Isla. And you gotta believe Lagia's totally fine letting this run out. I'll back up in the corner just like you taught me, boy. So, both guys being so careful right now. Nobody wants to overextend. Mm. No DP, just running away. M Dash letting these opportunities slip through his fingers. M Dash better be careful though, because one touch from Ryo, he can convert anything to EXC Bukaku. Oh my gosh, the win. Oh, be careful, buddy. You see him just buffering those DPs too. Look at that. And you see him crouch? Not a bad health situation for Isla if she goes into the final round like this. Oh, oh my God! Get down. That's it! Loggy is going to take SWC 2023 with a chase down EXC Bukaku. Can you believe it, Aru? That is unbelievable. How did he react? That was unbelievable. World champion level play. That is incredible. What a gamble at the end. What a call out. And that's what I love to see from KOF 15. That was actually so smart. The more I think about it, the, the timer was running out, and he knew M Dash just wanted to run away and time him out. So he bet it all. He bet the farm on that, and that ended up being the correct decision. And he Lagia, still champion. had that character in the wings on anchor. He still had the Sylvie in the back. He says the worst possible thing is I had to fight a half energy uh, Isla going into the anchor round. That's true. Lockheed, look at how dapper that man looks in that picture. Wow. Oh, yeah, man. He earned every bit of the clout he's about to get from this tournament win. Yeah, looking like a champion. Man, that was some world-class play. I don't think we will see that level of play in quite a long time. And, man, he's probably it's, it's probably surreal right now because you can tell right now he's packing up a stick, and, you know, like not even thinking about what just happened. Yeah. But I guarantee you, within less than 30 minutes, tank is empty, but the heart's going to be full. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, when you win something like at this level, I feel like, I mean, look at it. He looks like he's so calm. Maybe it hasn't really sunk in yet. Maybe it'll sink in when, you know, when the prizes start coming but, out. But right? I, I know, man, like, it's, it's, it, it, it's the first time he's winning something this big. It is the event, too, on top it of is that. The he event. is the best KOF 15 player yeah. in the world right now. He is the best. It is hard to dispute it. You know, this guy, he proved it. He's got what it takes to be in that conversation among the greats. Among the greats, you know, and he definitely proved he had the best stage to prove it possible. Instead of just, like, comparing stats and wins, he literally just goes through all of the Mount Rushmore of KOF 15. KOF in general. He did the darn thing, that's for sure.
All right, looks like we're gathering up the players, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, yeah. we got that award ceremony cooking right now. But this has been an incredible event, an incredible weekend. Want to give big shout-outs to SNK, to Tenno, and to the community. Without this, none of this would even be possible, you know. Big shout-outs to Incross, man. Got to give big shout-outs to Incross, who helped us every bit of the way with the stats of the players coming to join us here at LCQ and at the Grand Finals Top, top 32. It has been a hell of a ride. Yeah, what a season. What a way to end the season. Wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, Lagia played so, so well, so deservingly. And uh, really, it's it's poetic to see kind of like the, the young blood kind of take over, right? And it's passing of the torch, sort of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, certainly, certainly, yeah. man. Like, we've been all anticipating that uh, from Lagia for quite a bit quite of time a, now. Yeah. You know, like the first time I even ran into this kid, people were telling me, like, yeah, a lot of people in Japan believe this is going to be the leader of the new generation of KOF yeah. players. Let's take a look at the bracket that he went through to, to get to this position. Oh, man, this is an absolute who's who of, like, who do you got to beat to be even considered a legend? Mm hmm All right, so it looks like, uh, so his path here, he, uh, he, again, he had to beat the guy that beat him, put him into losers in the grand finals, and he did it after a reset, too, so... Uh, Managed to keep his composure. Goes through Evo Champion ET. Goes through KOF Legend Score. Goes through the biggest legend, <laughs> Shao Hai. Yeah, man. The undisputed goat of the game. And then finally gets his rematch against the guy who helped him start it all, M Dash. And hell of a game yeah. they had, man. Great showing. Definitely Great want show. to give it up to them uh, if we haven't already. Those guys put on an absolute. Uh, five-star match, if, if I can use the terminology. Here. Sure, yeah, no, yeah. I, listen, I am so looking forward to going home and studying the match footage because the, the, the KOF, the game planning that I was seeing from, from both these guys, it was just like, it was on another level, and I want... I want to be able to play like that eventually. You know, it's one of those things where, like, you watch the you watch the tournament and you you want to be up there with them. You want to you know get up I mean? and start doing karate with them, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, no, I, I I'm so proud of these guys. I think that. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what – it hasn't really sunk in for me either. I mean, this is like the first time we've really ever been able to make something like this happen here in California, in the U.S., us being a part of it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just like, man, I'm just happy to be here, but I'm also just super happy for everybody who's up there right now and everybody who came to join us this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had players flying in from all over the globe. It was really a who's who of KOF. Yeah. Um, so, uh, really, it was just, it's just so great uh, seeing everybody and seeing the level of play that they were able to bring to the table. Oh, man. There they are waiting for their uh, awards in the background just now. Hopefully that they uh, get a nice medal on top of that. You know, did they get money? Man, the top eight gets paid they out. They do get money. And they get to, like, you know, go home and say, dude, like, I represent it. That's right. Successfully. Yeah, you know, that's that's a good point. So that's what it's all about, man. But so let's get to see what this, uh, this award show's got. Better Abe, what you got for us? Ladies and gentlemen, give your round of applause for your top eight SNK World Championship. We had the drama, the action. We ended it in a great fashion. What an event it was today. And first, our type, one of our tarp A competitors at seven, GHZ Geo from Peru. Congratulations. Tied at seventh, Clan del Mar, Queuefero Honesto from Mexico. And coming up next, fifth, Pineapple! <laughs> and coming up next, at fifth place, X-Gear E.T. <laughs> and fourth, here we have Andres, score! Yeah. yeah. That looks like a picture Kojima would take. And third place, <laughs> none other than Kwamba Shao High. And in the battle for second place, another legend, Sanwa M Dash.
And last but not least, your champion for the SNK World Championships for KOF 15, Sanwa Lagia! Presenting the check for first place. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now that you've won the hardest tournament that there has been for King of Fighters 15 SNK World Championship. How does it feel to be the King of Fighters? あの、ケフ15の世界大会みたいな、あの、ま、世界大会クラスのものが何回かあったんでんですけど、いや、なかなかなんだろう、もうトップ Give it up, give it up. We felt that, we felt that. So, um, you know, we're on the world stage here. This is the uh, world championships for King of Fighters 15. We have awesome players, um, not just in this final match, but the top three. Everyone else as well, Shao Hai, we got M Dash as well. Um, to be able to compete against them and uh, end up with this result, with this championship result, I couldn't be happier. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations. And finally, any last thoughts, anything you want to say at home, anybody you want to say anything? This is your last sign off as a champion. Last things you have to say. You guys all got it, but Hao Shoukouken is the best. Again, folks, congratulations to our top eight competitors and our winner. Let's give a round of applause for everyone here. I urge you to stick around, because it's not over.
right. And now, folks, coming to the stage, producer Josh Weatherford and chief producer Yasuyuki Oda. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> we just first want to thank you guys for three days of just amazing battles. Uh, you know, thanks to all the fighters and all the everybody watching and cheering on. Fifteen uh, are this after Evo Japan to Las Vegas no Evo USA to. So yeah, for KOF 15, right coming around the corner, we have EVO Japan coming up in April, and then EVO Las Vegas in July, and obviously we're all, we have our own plans ahead of, of us as well, so just stay tuned for more and more uh, KOF fun going in the future. え、それでえ、ちょっと今紹介させていただいた新しいガロ伝説ですが、えっと、今開発中で、え、4月のエボジャパンの方で、え、初集を実施予定ですので、ぜひご参加ください。And as you can see, we're hard at work on Fatal Fury City of the Wolves and coming up at Evo Japan, we plan to have it playable for uh, visitors. So make sure to make the trip. あ、それではえっと、今回もう一本キャラクター紹介のトレーラー用意したんでそれをご覧になってお別れしたいと思いますこれからも SNKの格闘ゲームを応援してください。ありがとうございました。We have one more uh, character trailer for you guys to enjoy for Citrus. Uh, sorry, Fatal <laughs> Fury City of the Wolves. Uh, so yeah, please keep uh, looking forward to uh, SNK Esports going into the future. それじゃあ、さようなら。Alright, goodbye everybody. Take you for a ride. Try to keep up, all right? Hey, come on! This is the path I've chosen. I win this match for my fans! Aha! A fine specimen for my research.
<laughs> oh, yeah! Yo! That looks so good, oh, man. Oh, baby. Yeah, dude. That's so wild. Yo, coming early 2025. <laughs> I cannot wait, bro. Uh, dog, it's going to be a great year, 2025. Oh, my God. It's going to be something dude. It's going to be something special. We got cool designs. We got a cool new character. That game looks phenomenal. It I looks can't so wait. Good. I might have to go to Evil Japan, bro. <laughs> like, I need to try this game out. That's true. Yeah, I need to try it as well. Dude, everything looks so cool. Who's that new character? What was her name? Uh, they said it was Preacher or something. Unless she had, like, I, I saw her throwing screw up her out there. So oh, I'm yeah, like, yo, I was going to say, that's, that's, that. that's definitely your character, bro. I was still looking at that. I was like, oh, no, that's is that what I think bro. it is? I don't know. So everything was moving so fast. I have no idea what just happened. So, like, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, like, itching to go on Twitter and, like, rewatch oh, the footage right now. But, God. like, it's, it's. Oh, the, 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 the YouTube accounts are about to pick those trailers apart for, know, like, right? the next three days. <laughs> I can't wait, baby. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I'm, I'm really excited, though. I'm glad they got to show us something because I was waiting for something, you know. It's, we've been in the dark for so long long and it's I'm really happy with what I just saw I, man. I, and that's part of the, the beauty of having events like this where you get to work it live and we get to see it and you're just like man this is exactly what I needed to see from SNK man everything just looks phenomenal and I can't I can't wait to see what the rest of the greater FGC has to think about it honestly man like what do you guys think yeah let us know all right, man. Well, that's gonna have to do it for us, though. I can't. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get down from here yeah. and uh, grab Oda's ear and talk to him more about that preacher girl because uh, it looks kind of interesting, right? But yeah. that's gonna do it for us out here. Thank you for watching SNK World Championship Grand Finals in 2023. Uh, we'll see you at Evo Japan for more KOF 15 action. Once again, congratulations to Lagia for winning the whole damn thing. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. What do you got to say, Aru? I ain't got anything left to say. You know, it's uh, it's been a great show. Thank you all for being part of it. Um, don't go anywhere. Go play KOF. It's a beautiful game. Yeah, Support absolutely. City of the Wolves once it comes out. Uh, stay tuned for more news, I suppose. Yeah, man. Peace out, everybody. Have a good night.